Ah, yes. Ah, yes. My two mods showing why I made the mods in the first place. Good to see you, Agianini. Hope your day's been good. Uh, well, it is springtime. It is definitely springtime for me. They have, uh... <laughs> uh, black withered heart to you too, Yeen. Is uh the temperatures are rising? They have not a, uh, they have not bothered turning on the air conditioning anywhere yet. Yeah. I was baking in a stinky classroom all day. Fun times, fun times. Paycheck well earned. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get her started. Awate Amiki, my name is Faustus Marius Incatatus, the true consul of Rome, the favorite horse of the god emperor Caligula. Hope you're having a, hope you're having a happy Friday. Hope it was better than mine. Ugh, yeah, as I, uh, as I was telling Yeni when I uh, when I got home earlier today, uh, feeling pretty uh, feeling pretty wiped out, and it was mostly the heat. I think mostly the heat. Uh, yeah, it got up to uh, not quite summer levels, but uh, it, it definitely got warm today, and uh, the the air conditioning was not on anywhere. Um, so yeah, I was pretty uh, I was pretty burnt out as only uh, spending time in a really, really hot uh, place for a while can, can burn you out. I kind of understand... Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's nothing compared to uh, what VSM deals with, poor dude. It's getting up to like 50 Celsius for him. It's not even like... It's April. It's not even like really summer for him yet. Poor dude. But uh, yeah. Yeah, I kind of had my first heat experience of the of the year, and it uh, it drained the hell out of me. So, so yeah, I kind of came home and just uh, lied in bed, and uh, was was fairly useless. I flirted with the Yeen bot, uh, so unfortunately not single. At least according to Yeeny, I don't know. Maybe Yeeny wants to keep her all to herself. We'll see. We'll see. I do know of a of a bot who is single. We'll, we'll see if we can romance Edie. Tally would be pissed, but uh, man, that shiny metal ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're playing some Mass Effect. Knowing Ian's affinity for the Mechanicus, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that's that's a very good point. Is a very very good point. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. The flesh is weak. <laughs> I crave the, uh, oh, how does it go? Crave the certitude of steel. Uh. But yeah, great to see you both. Uh, thank you for coming out. Tonight we're going to play some Mass Effect 3. Going to get into some real shit, I think. Going to get in... Well, we, we've already gotten into the real shit. Because last time we liberated Omega, that was the whole thing. And this time we're... Uh, well, we're going to do a lot of stuff, I think. We're going to we're gonna see some more old faces. Children yearn for the omni -Siah. Yeah, who doesn't? Not only the children. Not even the children are spared, but... Uh, we all yearn for the Omnissiah. <laughs> uh, that was a that was a very very cool uh, very cool Dark Tide stream yesterday. By the way, was it yesterday? I'm trying to remember, maybe it was Wednesday. God, when was it? Yeah, I think it was Wednesday, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was a very cool Dark Tide stream, all the same. I enjoy watching you play it, especially it cool to see uh, Iggy pop in and uh, play it with the Yeni for a while. Actually get on voice chat, that was awesome. 
Anyways, let's uh, let's not delay any further. Let's go ahead and hop on in, especially mm -hmm. since it. I don't know what it is about Mass Effect. Always, oh, yeah, okay. Actually, it didn't even take that long to show up this time. We good. There he is. Always oh, cool to debut on other people's stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what Yini did. Um, I guess I'm trying to remember. We're at this little farm. We killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. Oh boy, PTSD the soldier. The support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner. Show me oh, let's hear this. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. Oh boy. She wants to hear all about what it's like. Oh boy. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. <laughs> Until later that night. She's saying she wants to be a pilot. And I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks. Probably no real chance oh, to get boy. clean in all that time. <laughs> oh, much. boy. Well, that's it? What? You left a giant ring of dirt in their bathtub, and you're traumatized by this. I don't. I don't get a sorry. I do not get a sorry. All right. So yeah, we left off uh, checking in on Caden. Thane is here too. I don't think Thane has anything more to say. Coming by again, Shepard. I'm flattered. Uh. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. It make it more sense if it were a quarry. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps we will keep up via the extra net now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster. To yeah, yeah, it would make more sense for a quarry, for sure. All right, so let's let me check my journal here. All right. Just locate Arya's couch and send the coordinates back to Herod. Okay, so there's actually still stuff on Omega that we didn't get to do. Barlevon. It's probably the location of Shadow Broker forces trapped in the Dranic system. That's right. I don't remember our first collab stream. Um, I think it was your first stream. Didn't I show up on your first stream? I found it very strange. I think it was DRG number one. Oh, okay. Any evidence? Man, we have a lot of, a lot of shit. You know what? I think we will actually go for priority Sirkesh now. Rendezvous with the Solarian ship used the Normandy as neutral ground for the summit. Yeah. Don't take my word on that, though. Not really Welcome, sure either. Commander Shepard. Please select One moment. See, I'm going to have to go back and check. Going to have to go back and check. Now Always fun to watch people's debuts again. Just not your own. I refuse to watch my own. All right. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll go ahead and go straight into priority, Sir Cash. Debut review stream for next birthday. Got it. <laughs> Please no. Please no. All right. What happens? The whole point if you can leave. Need you to head to a Cerberus lab on the planet Sanctum. I'll brief you when you're inbound. Okay. This... Yeah, I guess we're. Uh... All right. So yeah, let's go ahead and do priority, Sir Cash. Mission. 
Mid-October of 22, before I started going live myself. Ah, yeah, that's right, that's right, yeah, okay. So it was before your debut. I think I was locked into some work at the time. Yeah, I think you were. Yes, that's right. You did show up on my channel first, like, and I think it was, like, yeah, I think it was DRG number one. We played together it's before you had formally debuted. That's about right. Good memory, good memory. Maybe you just looked it up, but uh, good memory. All right, to the Anos Basin. I remember I was in Nashville with my bandmates. Yeah! I think I need to turn the game down a little bit. Whoa, okay. Let's do that. All right. Carbonation of the asteroid became notable for element zero deposits. The deposits would indicate it was an extrasolar capture. We were discovered by the Solarians shortly before they found the mass relay in the Pranish system. Naturally, all element zero was mined out long ago. The asteroid is named for the clan of Peto II Ginon Mel Eneste Dut Solum Amar, known to humans as Amar Solum. The shy, retiring eccentric was an undergraduate when more important astrogeologists passed off the first Ezo deposits to him. He ran the fateful test that discovered its mass-affecting properties. For three centuries after his death, rival clans fought for credit for the discovery, but the truth won out after a lengthy academic war. And knowing the Solarians, there were probably casualties in this academic war. What do you mean before my debut? Is my unofficial debut? Yeah, did you do like a real debut stream? I can't remember. <laughs> All right. Diplomatic ships of the Solarians, Turians, and Krogan float far away from one another out of weapon range. Messages sent by each faction indicate that they would welcome the Normandy as a neutral meeting ground for their diplomats. The fact that they have agreed not agreed on a ship to serve as a neutral meeting point before now does not bode well for the negotiations, indeed. My first stream was Darkest Dungeon. The Solarian nice. Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. All right. Have them brought to the We have Primarch Victus on the Normandy already. And hope this doesn't start another war. I the mean, the Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Yes, he Earth fucking does. And I'm not just some junkyard veteran. Oh hi, Yoshi. In trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived. Primarchs on the Jonah. Normandy. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Oh, shit. Absolutely not. <laughs> the genophage is non-negotiable. What's your concern? Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people Ooh, Shepard's got his, uh, we know Shepard's best. got his fancy you dress you clothes to, on. To fight a war you couldn't win. It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after Tell that, it ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. <laughs> oh, he'll show you, he'll show you urges. You may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. Holy shit. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. Uh, you don't know, you don't know, my boy, Erdnot Rex. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these 
brutes. Enough. Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years. Don't do it, they're horrible frog people. Hey, hey, the French are very pleasant. The French are very pleasant people, usually. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. Uh huh. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiment. Uh huh. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess. Uh huh. Where did you get this? It could be a it could be a fabrication. Oh, you're full of shit. Those are French give us Gojira and uh, and Elsass, so they're good in my book. Yeah. Is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? Um, not dying. The only problem with the genophage is it doesn't also affect Turians. <laughs> how long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries. Oh to come. man, I wanna. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkash. This will take time. It happens now. As a council specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. Three on one. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. A bully is exactly what we need right now. We need someone to take the Reaper's lunch money. Give me Garrus. Um, we could try Javik. Solarians also, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the problem is that the Genophage doesn't affect everyone except the humans, you know? That would be the ideal Cerberus-approved outcome. Javik, what can you do? Dark Channel, Lift Grenade, Pole Slam, and Vengeful Ancient. Armor bonus, power damage, plus 25%. You know what, we'll give Javik a try. Alright. So yeah, I love that Venom shotgun. Got the M3 Predator. Bully has few friends when he needs them most, so that's why you should be on my side. The side of an abductor and twat. Correct. Correct. Glad that, uh... <laughs> Glad that Yini understands the uh, intricacies of Solarian politics. Alright. Yeah, we upgraded the hell out of uh, Garrus' sniper rifle, so good stuff, good stuff. Actually, can I do any more mods? Can I do any more mods? Make this even stupider. Pierce objects ignores 25% of defenses on armored targets. Just straight up damage, uh, accuracy, 15% damage, pierces 25% of armor. You know what? I think uh, I think Garrus can deal with the. It's worth the wait. It's not like Garrus is throwing out biotic powers. So, all right, Mr. Javik. Got an assault rifle and a pistol, okay. Particle rifle, wow. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but... Great capacity, great fire weight. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably run the Valkyrie. Yeah, we'll give you more rounds per magazine. Yeah, sure, better weapon stability. Particle man, particle man. All right. 
think we're good there. We have 12 points. Um... Shield recharge delay, delay by 15%, or increase melee damage by 75% for 30 seconds when an enemy is killed by heavy melee. Eh, I feel like the shield recharge is going to be more relevant more often. Good max out fitness. What do we got? Melee synergy. Melee damage bonus by 25%, increase recharge speed of biotic charge by 200% after an enemy is killed by heavy melee. Or just health and barrier bonuses. We're going to be boring, I think. Yeah, give me more health and barrier. Oh, Garrus has. Garrus has some shit. Assault rifle or power damage. Do you use powers? I guess he has tech power, sure. And here's what we're looking for. Sniper rifle damage by 60. This is just gonna get really stupid. This is gonna get really, really stupid real fast. Uh, yeah, more damage with the overload. Okay. Mr. Javik, okay. Plague an opponent with a persistent damaging biotic field. Effect transfers to a second target if the first is killed. Effect's length depends on Dark Channel's duration. Only one field may be active at a time. Only the best for best boy Garrus, yeah. Only the stupidest amount of sniper rifle damage for best boy Garrus. So yeah, I think, uh... I think our main policy is going to uh, just be... Get everything to three and then decide. A lift grenade. Oh, okay. Uh, like what, uh, Niara had. Poor Niara. That was... I knew it was coming, and it still sucked. Alright, yeah. He's got slam, too. Massive damage with a biotic body slam. The shield, power damage... Oh, same thing twice. Uh, yeah, we could have him be kind of glass cannon, I guess. Increase squadmate power damage duration and force by ten percent. That's it's kind of kind of legit, actually. Uh, we'll give him a better pull. Dark Channel sounds kind of interesting, too. Yeah, let's go for longer duration on that. I think you want good duration there. Alright. So I'm kind of really hoping we uh, run into a certain scientist a solarian. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. Anything move, shoot it. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. <laughs> I still don't trust a word they say. <laughs> Shepard's uh, headed out to the nightclub, you know? We land, get the females, leave before anyone changes their mind. Be friendly, Rex. They'll they'll be happy to see your, your, your friendly, smiling face. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best. And probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them home, Rex. You've waited long enough for this. Hmm. So is oh, the genophage. I appreciate the assist, Gary. Yeah, I'm glad we brought. You'd gone soft. Glad we brought an old bro along for this. The gun. He wouldn't be king then, would he? Who's that? Who the? What the fuck is that? He's a Prothean. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling fleet. Let's ship. go. <laughs> as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. I guess so the genophage affects the females, pretty much. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. 
Tell them that Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. <laughs> Rex! Oh, God. Look how friendly Rex is being. What a... What masterful diplomacy. Rex has biotic powers now? Ago. Yes, yes, yes. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable, Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. Hmm. Or else. <laughs> yeah, alright. Stay here, Rex. I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off. Man, the amount of trust Rex has for you is... Yeah, yeah, shove the little Solarian bitch boy around. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Oh. Oh, interesting. It's the Shadow Broker. Watch the containment shield! Brings back memories. They were much smaller in my cycle. <laughs> As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Sensitive information. What kind of work goes on? Yeah, I forget what they were called. Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. Mm -hmm. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. Uh huh. They were you did them a favor, huh? Sure. Uh huh. This old planet smells wrong. <laughs> I'd like to see them. I would like I'll to see a female Krogan. Give me a few moments and meet me. I don't know that we've seen one. Attention bio labs. Please prepare for Yogg's specimen arrival. Yogg, that's his name, yeah. A cipher analyst over the in Utah Shadow Broker. Told the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers have them against the wall. The Turians have the biggest fleet in the galaxy. And we're only Slap him. Slap him. Get him, Garrus. Another incursion. Air defenses report unidentified craft skirting our inbound. Agree with him or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Mm -hmm. Who gave the order? Our superior. That's all that Oh, yeah. Cheekbones recognized. This is Senior Research Director Wicks authorizing visitor access to lower level. Now take this elevator down, and someone will... Alert. Threat condition 2 has been declared. Scramble readiness teams. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We get to fight alongside Rex. Please say we get to fight alongside Rex. Cheekbones have their own clearance level, yep. Elevated above top secret. I feel like bringing Javik to this facility is like the All biggest flex. Shepard, yeah. excellent timing. Good to Yes, work. there he is. Well, eyesight still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Oh Special yeah. Consulting. That to be me. Someone else might have gotten it. Wrong. Oh yeah. Helped female Krogan fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encourage political pressure. That's our boy. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes, can explain later. Security warnings not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. Amateur These stuff. Amateur stuff. Didn't survive. You did your best, buddy. Uh, yeah. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed, data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure. Right, but still right. useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Because he didn't have a... Uh, Malin didn't... Then. Yeah. Malin didn't have a complete cure yet, but I'm yeah, sure we saved his data. Could, Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. 
One survivor, immune to Genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. Let's go. She's still here? Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, Genophage cure... Problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. Yeah, I kind of wish we brought Rex along. Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? That would serve no tactical purpose. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Solarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Mm. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. <laughs> okay. What about you? Yeah, Krogan females are awesome. Why are you here? I'm here for my my good buddy Rex. You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. I want to see lots more little Rexes around. Then I hope you brought an army. Give me an update. Is it Reapers? Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Oh fuck, it's Zero Reapers. It's Reapers. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Or maybe Cerberus? I guess Cerberus would have a reason to interfere. Yep, Cerberus. Of course. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. Objection now noted. Fuck yeah, Morton. <laughs> oh, I'm really glad Morton is here. That probably wouldn't go quite as smooth. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage cure. Base, Morton. Absolutely base, Morton. I promise. Get your elevator, Shepard. So what, she, she just gonna be on a uh, conveyor belt as we're moving along? My fire is authorized, okay. Alright, so Garrus has a sniper rifle. Yeah, let's get a Javik with his assault rifle. Something's wrong with the elevator, it's not responding. There, try it now, Commander. Oh! Oh crap, get back! Is there another way out of here? Other side of the lab. An emergency exit. All right. I can open it. We go. Shepard, Cerberus forces trying to locate female. Quarantine checkpoint under attack. Hurry. Cerberus forces couldn't find a female if it bit them in the ass. Fucking nerds. Shepard, it's Rex. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. Sounds good. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. Oh yeah, I'm sure you will. This looks They come. There will be more. security. More incoming. Don't let him take cover in the lab. All right. You know what? I actually prefer the arrows on the ladder over uh, pure little yellow paint. You know what? I agree. We're on our way. Yeah, we're on our way. Just clearing the labs here. All right, moving, moving, moving. Oh God. Um. Yeah, I'm not touching that. There goes the next. There goes the next shadow broker. He was muttering to Sony though. Uh huh. But everyone else also calls it a shadow broker. Shotgun spare ammo, yes please. Um What can we do here? Uh not that. Acknowledged. 
Not that. I do not appear able to sprint through it now. Window on the other side of the flame. Oh, yeah. Doi. Sometimes it's just that easy. Hot integrity. Get him, get him, get him. We have to be in there. Okay, that's... That one's just kind of embarrassing. Got him, Javik! Alright. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna move up. Gonna trust you boys to do what you do best. Gonna guard the pod. Recommend dealing with Cerberus first. Fine. There. Are you okay? Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. Mm. I'm fine, Commander. Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in STG. Could be indoctrinated. Uh -huh. If no Krogan aligns with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Oh, fuck. Okay, we better not lose Morden. We better not lose Morden. <laughs> Alright. And we're going, and we're going, and we're going. Nice. Hang on, we're trying to get the abort. Plink! Oh yeah, Garrus is getting out of control. That did it. That sure did it, Garrus. That sure did it. Yeah, we're always mocks the beginning. We're fooling on them though. Hey, Kirahi! just down the hall. Captain Kirahi. It's Major now. Always hope we would work together. Again. Nice. Is this is the guy from uh, Vermeer. You could say that. <laughs> How do I not have one of those? Seriously. Go, Commander. I'll cover you. Uh, you know, covering us might include killing that uh, engineer before he throws down his fucking turret. No? Okay. For any shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just need to just need to grab some sensitive documents and stuff, you understand. Morton was right. Cerberus must have been tipped off. They got here too fast. Oh yeah. Every war has its traitors. Yeah, get him! Over there. They can give us the high ground. Elevator malfunctioning, Shepard. Need assistance. 
Uh oh. Sentry interface, some salvaged parts. Okay. Alright, let's go uh, assist the elevator. Wish it was that easy always. Scorpion. Oh, that was what uh, Kirahi was using. A lot more damage, less capacity, less fire rate. Makes sense. Very heavy. Very, very heavy. We'll give it to Javik. Excellent. And Clarice, wait! Another server squad. Not seriously. Keep up the pressure. Understood. With pleasure. Excellent. Affinity for destruction and tech shepherd. Affinity for destruction and tech shepherd, indeed. Need you to clear us through first. Yep, gotcha. Uh, yep, quarantine checkpoint two. How are you holding up? Containment shield strong, but not designed for direct fire. This isn't your problem, Commander. You don't know me. I know enough. I'd like to hang in there. Aww. How many more checkpoints? Well, good guy. Just the landing area. Hope Erd not Rex still waiting. Oh, he's doing Rex something. His hands off a fertile female. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. See up top. You found death. Come on. Glad, uh, glad these grenades I'm launching don't Let's hurt me. Let's. Get your ass up here. I can't fly around forever. Working on it. Females on the way up to the landing area. You pull this off, and I'm making you an honorary Krogan. I think we're almost there. Honorary Krogan. Seriously. Thank you, Garrus. Good overload. Shepard, you must authorize release. Pod then transfers to loading area. Let's get you out of there. Look at Shepard, saving the galaxy and forklift certified. Truly the perfect human. Oh boy. Shepard, heads up! You've got incoming! Oh boy, of course we do. Okay, so why doesn't he just why doesn't he just unload on the pod? Like their their go their goal is to kill the Krogan, right? Just unload on the pod. Torstock! Torstock! Stay clear! I've got this! Protect the Krogan Shepherd! She's vulnerable! Alright, so 
Garrus, hit him with the overload. That's a serious firepower. Maybe we can crack it open. Done like Thanksgiving dinner. Titan sir, it was a lot harder than this. Oh, <laughs> uh, that that shotgun's freaking broken. All right, are we going to uh, witness the act of Krogan love in the uh, shuttle? Can, can Rex contain himself? I'd be worried there for a minute. Let's make this quick. Oh, I think I think he's gonna make it real quick. Surprise! Let's get you out of there, milady. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! I can See, no, but I'm sure it'll be hard done here. Yeah. Women. Women. Okay, so yeah, female Krogan are uh, what you'd expect. Shut the hell up, Husk boy. Oh, he's not gonna tell you anything. So Cerberus just like pure indoctrination at this point, right? Just like pure Reaper bitch boy. Commander, I'm hearing the elusive man. A treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Something then Reaper y. Bay, I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance RD has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. Crucible. We're throwing everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge. But our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. <laughs> we can do this shit. Javik smiling in the corner this. there. Never doubt that. Glorious no, Prothean sir. technology. Good, hack it out. Shit, there it is. Oh, man. Okay, so we're building a Death Star, basically. Looks like a giant turkey baster, actually. Shepard, you're, you're special. You have the female, Rex. A cure for the rest of your people can come later. That wasn't the Gotta deal. infuse those Reapers, yeah. The Palavin needs your reinforcements now. We can't delay. Unless every Krogan gets the cure. Rex. No alliance. I know you're cooler than this. Morton, how long will it take to finish a cure? Need to synthesize base antigen from female. Also requires healthy male Krogan tissue. We'll need a... Gee, I wonder. You're looking at it. Mm -hmm. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. <laughs> Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Do what you can, bud. Then get started, Morton. And make it quick. Always do. We'll be in Medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. 
Her name is Eve, of course it is. Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. Sure. So just speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Definitely. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. Mm hmm. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss in private. Else. <laughs> I'll find you both in the war room. Uh -huh. Just be ready to talk. Oh, Rex. Man, what a different game it would be if you let Rex die on Vermeer. Priority Tuchanka, Tuchanka, Turian Platoon. A Turian Platoon on Tuchanka. Atticon Traverse, Krogan Team. And the Crucible. Alright. Tell me what we got, Victus. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Oh. Now they're pinned by an advanced guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... On Tuchanka, huh? I'm intrigued. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help and understanding. The Salarian Dalatras was worried about what the Krogan will do once they're cured. How do you feel? It won't matter if we don't stop the Reapers, but I understand her doubts. Mm -hmm. The moon you found me on? That's where we made our last stand against the Krogan during the rebellions. They were that relentless. Wow, so they actually took Palavan, huh? How did it turn out? The Krogan started using asteroids as weapons to <laughs> the colonies. We had no choice. The genophage was our last resort. So yes, Krogan intentions after this war will be a serious concern, but I'd rather have a grateful ally than a resentful enemy. Eh. Reaching out to the Krogan for help must be difficult for you. We can't allow the mistakes of our past to cloud the future. Your race and mine were once enemies. The first contact war, as you call it. I was there, dodging shells fired by your navy. But look at us now. Standing in a ship of Turian human design, working together. That's all. Of course, Commander. Nice. <laughs> Alright, let's go find Rexy. Oh, easy enough. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Mm -hmm. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. Yeah, I well, was the you one know. Bullets flying at me, and I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Rex, the support character. Uh huh. You said one That's of your squads is missing. At. They were scouting out the Rachni relay. The Rachni relay. Of trouble in the area. Rachni. Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. Mm -hmm. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts I went mean, to silence. We arrived. know they're back. <laughs> I've got Arlock Company, my best unit on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. We're responsible for them being back. Get on it, Shepard. So, uh, what do you think of the what do you think of the female Krogan? Quite a looker, back eh? Back on Sir Cash, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, uh, Good show of force sorts things out. Mm -hmm. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. Then talk about it some more. And then they you hurt have good you. Ideas, Rex. Maybe you'll have some you interesting allies, yeah? Yeah, but they have so many of them. So <laughs> they talk so much. To listen to it. <laughs> well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers, too. Amazing. Uh... What will you do after the genophage is cured? Fuck, Once we fuck, and fuck. Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time we'll. Okay, be well, I really hope you survive for the sake of uh, galactic peace, yeah. 
A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. No one wants to repeat history. They know we'd probably win this time. <laughs> the war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time to focus on rebuilding. Let's go. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. I still yeah. don't have a window like Liara does, but it's progress. Yeah, yeah. Wish I could rooms pretty comfy. around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? I mean, if you die, we can always scrape some DNA off the ground, probably. Hmm. All right, I am very, uh, very, very interested in the uh, the two things we got going on there. I also would, yeah, really like to talk to the female you Krogan, to Eve. Have a base on their home world secured better. They were solid. Server and then reaper deck. Um. So do I have more war assets now, or are we still waiting on uh, unlocking them? Major Kirahi, we got Kirahi. Mmm, genetic material. Uh, sure thing, Yeni. Where did they say she was? I thought she was going to be in the tech labs with, uh, with Morden, but, uh, maybe not. Commander. We've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachunka. I've marked it on the galaxy map. Okay, so it seems like we're really being pointed to to uh, Tachunka. Um, their observation deck and life support. Uh, where did they say she was? I don't think. I think she was on the crew deck, right? Somewhere. Starboard. <laughs> it's that Thane's coffee cup. Is he still uh is he still lingering? What the hell is this? It's like a nap pod or something? Get your hair did? No Liara is back here. We can see if Liara has anything to say. So Liara, still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? We have a live Prothean here, progress. so... We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My lips are sealed. <laughs> Means of Reaper Destroyer. Well, that's interesting. To avoid the risk of indoctrination, remote drones have been sent to study the salvage remains of a Reaper Destroyer. The drones can dig the under the outer hull, scanning circuits for technology that will increase the speed at which tech, biotic, and combat abilities can be fired. Alternatively, the Council has offered a Citadel-wide merchant discount for choosing the safer option and demolishing the remains. Aha! Our best girl tally there. Store discount bonus 5% or power recharge speed 5%. Uh, we'll take the... I think we'll have enough uh, We'll have enough cash. So yeah, we'll get the power recharge speed. Nothing worse than having to wait on another kick-ass biotic charge. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean. Yes, yes, me. yes. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I mean... I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But yeah. a Prothean Shepherd. There's so much he could tell us. I'm sure he will in time. Feel free to look around. 
Oh, right, right, right. So we're... <laughs> we're spying on everyone. All right. Let's, let's, read, let's read Liara's Prothean notes. The things this Prothean must have seen. If they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him time to get his bearings, but goddess, when will we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? Untouched notes on Prothean. Not sure what to make of Javik. I approached him while we were traveling to a different system, but he wasn't very inclined to talk. But little he does say concerns the Reapers and our possible failure. Is he simply a soldier mourning his people, or is it a fundamental difference in our cultures? If what Javik says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror. Yeah, how do you think they got a how do you think they got an empire that large? And I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if it could bring them all back again. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because we were dazzled by the technology they left behind? Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? <laughs> oh no. It's like the Weeaboo finally going to Japan. Email from Sanders to Anderson. Okay. David, you won't get this for a while unless you find an extranet connection working on Earth. I've made it out to this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete, and it's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care for my sake. Kelly Sanders to Jack. Nice. Hey, Sanders. Checking on the kids. How are they, Jack? They'll do good. It's going to be long. I kind of got crap to do. I wanted to tell you, I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that biotic amp you and the children were testing at Grissom. You can pick it up on the Citadel. Damn, one of the Alt-3X1s? You know how much shit I could tear up with one of those installed? I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah, and hey, thanks. Sure. Oh, we're even spying on Kasumi. Hi, Professor. You know that one-of-a-kind point-to-point comm server you were talking about the other day? Do you have any information on its whereabouts? I'm sure she does. I've got something better. Check your front door. But the server's locked in a Cerberus facility. Not anymore. This will be invaluable for the Crucible. Thank you, Miss Goto. You're the brilliant astrophysicist, Prof. I'm just a tech expert doing some odd jobs. By the way, you would not believe how many credits Cerberus leaves just lying around in the open. Indeed. <laughs> Professor Takesha to Dr. Oduol. I was calling every supply depot stationed around the Crucible to find enough pure platinum for the Crucible's primary trigger inlay. We've barely had enough left to coat a coffee maker. An hour later, a ship pulled up with 16 tons of platinum, courtesy of the Shadow Broker. Then it flew away to scavenge more materials for the project. The ship's captain emailed me later, saying the broker would stay in touch with our needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for bugs. Uh -huh. Good job, Liara. 16 tons of platinum, man. Alright, we can check in with Garrus, see if he's got anything to say. Shepard, they say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. Oh, you got a crush? So I've heard. I've got a few, myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this deal. Uh, Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have been. <laughs> Garrus has a crush. And now, to talk uh, about her people's last hope. Oh, Magical that's passion. adorable. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. I mean, she's probably going to be busy repopulating for a while, but yeah, you know, you might have a chance eventually. Garrus has a crush. Aware Krogan Here we are. females find scars attractive. Garrus loyal, reasonably intelligent, <laughs> a bit aggressive. Oh wow! Almost even like even Morden's working this angle. For the third time, Doctor, I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. Ah, Shepard, we were just. I got some scars. Are you okay? I'm fine, Rex. You can relax. Can't be too careful. Or put any faith in Solarian. Hey, Doctor. you weren't here to see what a this badass Morden is. Different. Yes, he is. Is he? What's that? Simple blood well, death. if they can synthesize the cure, she won't be as busy. What True. kind? Kind that ends the genophage. Shepard, please. Distractions counterproductive. Also affecting comfort of patient. He's trustworthy, he Rex. He's your inside source, Rex. You can trust him. Solarians have minds like a maze. You never know when they're leading you into a trap. Trap? Eve's release, my doing. Would never have known about her if not for me. That was then. But she's out now. And if she gets hurt, I'll feel it. 
Understand. But my patient, my responsibility, her welfare a priority. Will not allow her to be compromised by anyone. Dr. Chakwas is probably just hanging out uh -huh. in the back here. You got a quad, doctor. You got a quad, doctor! <laughs> Don't forget, you still need your tissue sample. I'll be back. Mm hmm Oh, is Rexy is Common scared focus. of a little prick. Fear of needles. Mm-hmm. Or Solarian doctors. Or Solarian doctors. Now have work to do. Prefer females of the species. <laughs> Right. An inhibitor. No, 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 no. Entire catalyzer. Thank Eve. you for saving my life, Commander. I didn't think the Krogan had any allies left. Yeah, well, allies. if you knew what a badass Rex was. We owe a lot to you. Even if most people have forgotten that. They can be forgiven. Our actions have hardly inspired friendship. Part of being friends is knowing each other's name. I feel bad that I don't know yours. I surrendered it the day I became a shaman. Well, she's a shaman, time. okay. I belong to my sisters now. But perhaps Explains one day the headdress, when this maybe? is over, you can know it. Mm hmm. Uh, how are you holding up with Morden? How has Morden been treating you? Better than Krogan males do. He's not like a typical <laughs> I mean, Sumerian. Yeah, he's... No, no, no. Organ redundancy results in new period before metaphase. Can't alter that. Damage to telomeres, premature aging. He does that. Yeah. But I sense pain in him, too. He told me about his work on the genophage. I should consider him an enemy. Yet I think seeing my sisters and I changed something in him. A sorry Borcha offspring have an allergy to dairy and a dirty dirty dirty. Thank you. Well, it wasn't his ear. How did you get involved in Malin's experiments? The other females and I volunteered. We heard Malin was trying to cure the genophage for Clan Werelock. Aren't they a rival clan? Rivalries are the invention of the males. Under their rule, Tachanka has laid in ruins for over a thousand years. Uh -huh. We need a it's strong matriarchy. Took back our uh -huh. place in society and resurrected our future. Malin was our best hope. Is it worth it? Would you go to Malin again? Absolutely. It only takes one candle to light a fire, and then the darkness is no more. I didn't realize the Krogan had female shamans. I mean, they have entire Wisdom plans. comes from pain. And the genophage has made us very wise. Rather than surrender to despair, a few of us chose to preserve the ancient ways. Mm -hmm. We safeguard our culture, our knowledge, our secrets. So when our children live again, the Krogan will flourish. So how'd you, how'd you do that? How were you initiated? You're locked in a cave for seven days with just enough food to last. On the eighth, you'll starve. Interesting. What does that prove? Your resolve. Every acolyte is given a chance. You either claw your way out through the rock with your bare hands, or you die. Damn. Hmm. So Krogan can't go more than a week without food. Good to know. How did you make it out alive? I started digging the wrong way. I was in complete darkness. Nothing other than my own heartbeat to sustain me. What happened? I found this. A simple crystal, but it became my chisel. Take it as a reminder, Commander. In the darkest hour, there is always a way out. So what do you think of Rexy? What do you think of Rex? When he's not trying to sire half the <laughs> the best thing that's happened to the Krogan. Uh, I won't tell him Can't that. let him get a big head. His head's big enough uh, already. <laughs> he's turned into a strong leader. I know in his heart Rex wants what's best for us. Though not all the other clans see it that way. Mm -hmm. Why would the other clans give Rex trouble? You'd think they'd want a better future. Ah, it's pride. It's not in the nature of our males to cooperate. Exactly. They've evolved to be selfish. Their only concern is survival. Rex is different. He's a mutant. And that you can tell him. He'll seek revenge. Do you think Rex will want revenge for the genophage? Some clans will expect it. But I hope Rex resists. Definitely. He understands the cycle of violence must end if Krogan are ever to have a voice in galactic politics. Still, he's just one Krogan. If enough clans demand it, he may not be able to stop them. If you don't mind me asking, what's it been like living with the genophage? I knew sisters who couldn't bear the shame of being infertile. They would wander off into the wastelands, hoping a thresher maw would kill them. And end their torment. Usually they killed the Thresher Mod instead. Your mind? 
Yes. After my first stillborn. Mm. Stopped you. What kept you from ending your own life? When my child didn't draw breath, that's when my life truly began. The genophage forces us to live on hope alone. There is nothing else. Mm. There is no reason to exist other than the hope that the next day will bring change. And if it doesn't, there is always the next. You should have the option to let the Reapers win. Um, I think you do. I, I seem to recall hearing that, uh, hearing that that is an option. After genophage is cured. How do you think things will change after the genophage is cured? Our species will find its balance again. Females will help shape the future, like in the ancient days, before we were just pawns of power-hungry males. Mm -hmm. Most seem hell-bent on shooting anything that looks at them wrong. What else is there for them to do? Because of the genophage, they've become wandering killers, seeking targets to justify their existence. Makes sense. Excuses to earn them honor. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. <laughs> I've only met a few humans in my time. I'm glad for the opportunity. All right. So, female Krogan. Surprisingly reasonable. I guess I guess the quad gives them twice the testosterone. The males, that is, uh, makes them twice the stupid. How you doing, Morton? Shepard, blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin data thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. You've always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course uh, correction. That's what you gotta tell yourself. Those circumstances being? <laughs> Fucking Reapers? Reaper yeah. <laughs> Krogan without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. That's it. Nothing else? No personal stake here? Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Stakes too high for an Damn straight. But not about them. My work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. So How are you doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. <clears throat> Eating appropriately. Could use another blanket. Something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. Yeah, fair. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. <laughs> yeah, you seem to be pretty friendly with her. her. My patient, my responsibility. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain <laughs> yeah. her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. Oh. <laughs> so, we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachunka? Worth Monsters it in the end, I guess. Also, but now with purpose. Victims yeah. didn't die for nothing. You're okay with that? So the end justifies the means? Not my means. But you're using the data. Encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be science. <laughs> true, true. Very tests. true. Can't change that. But can help Eve. Can cure genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Correct. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. I see. You think you can make this work for all Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Must improve oh, mutagen as well. That's, uh... hormone production. Long term Ooh. illness for all Krogan otherwise. Fucking with the endocrine system. That's uh that's a big that's a big 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 task. Uh Yeah. If it wasn't Morden Solus, I would be uh I would be very uh I'd be very worried about that. Again, so glad uh so glad that he didn't die in the last game. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. Nice talking with you, Borden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. You planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reapers dealt with at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. You deserve it, Morton. You'd go crazy inside an hour. 
Might run tests on the seashell. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Might run tests. Uh, I guess Chakwas has been displaced. Very, very, very cool. Alright, I think I want to go talk to Javik and then we will uh, get a move on and uh, do some stuff. Alright, I think he was over here. Why are you so interested in my game? Oh boy. Parthians are always an enigma, a mystery to solve. I wanted to know what happened to your civilization. Why did such an enlightened race disappear? <laughs> are they so enlightened? Enlightened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, the Prothabu, the big Prothabu energy. I believe this cycle cares too much about what other species. Yeah. Turian, Solarian, all were primitives in my time. What good does their help do now? Fuck yeah. This war on our own. Then demand their help. Do not indulge their selfish requests. What will saving one Krogan matter? If only it were that simple. I mean, you're if one to talk. Away, you lost. You Can lost. I apologize. The previous occupant of this room <laughs> 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 I have absorbed some uh, of yes, Turning into our grunty boy. One. Maybe it's best if I let you recover. That would be best. Hey, Javik, you want to go kill some more shit? Did I mention this Cerberus? Do not understand why your own kind would Yeah, I don't really get it either. Be the same as everyone if the Reapers are not stopped. Indoctrination, probably. The Rex Krogan offered me a job. Yeah? He said whenever I tired of the easy life of luxury on the Normandy, he would give me something real to shoot at. Yes. 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 Can we piss Javik off? Yes, 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 yes. Fine. All right. Hmm. Some. New messages, Commander. I'm sure. And an alert. New article on indoctrination. Thessia. A sorry scientist ran at the Noptis has died in custody, allegedly committing unalive after she was arrested for the murder of multiple Asari military officials. Prior to her death, investigators said the Noptis spoke of voices in her head, which they believed to be indicative of her indoctrination. The voices foretold the ascension of the Asari and told the Noptis that anyone fighting the Reapers needed to die. The Noptis worked on a top secret project for former Spectre Saren Artarius for several years several years ago, where she likely became indoctrinated. She received a pardon from the Asari government in exchange for providing research assistance on Reaper technology. The Noptis was believed responsible for planning a makeshift explosive device that detonated a research center, killing five visiting Asari military officials along with four civilians. The attack seriously wounded a dozen more and caused significant damage to the facility. Investigators say they are not seeking any more suspects in the case. We should have killed her when we had the chance. Holding the line from Kirahi. Commander, it was a pleasure seeing you again on Sarkash, even, even if the circumstances were less than ideal. It seems fate has decided our meetings coincide with galactic threats. So be it. To that end, I wanted to reiterate that STG will be there to help when the need arises, regardless of the political climate. You were there for us in our hour of need. We look forward to returning the favor. Best of luck, Major Kirahi. I figured Major Kirahi died, but um, yeah, I'm glad to see he got out. Ash didn't get out, but he got out. Info for you. Hi, Shepard. It's been a while. I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth and that Liara's with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we could have done. Can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin, and of tripping over the drone. I don't even know how it kept finding me in a ship that big, even after I turned off its tracking. I dug up some inf interesting information for you. Talk with Glyph to sort out the data. Hope it helps, Shepard. It's getting rough out there. Okay. Maybe we will uh, go talk with Glyph real quick. Glyph being her, uh, her little data drone, I think. A pleasure to see you. Yeah, hi, Glyph. Gonna be, gonna be useful here. Um, okay, we uh, don't 
don't seem able to interact with Glyph. Fair enough. Thanks, Farron. Great job. As effective at, uh, as effective <laughs> at feeding me information as you were at winning Liara over. Oh, is this the, uh, Wall of Martyrs? Sure is. There's Ash. Who else we got? Oh, Kelly Chambers, fuck. Adley, yep. Yeah. What else do we know? Who else do we know? Charles Presley, yep. God, so this is this is both this is both Normandies. Because Presley died on the first Normandy. I guess that was Crosby, yep. Seems the info was upgrade choices probably. Yeah, probably. Oh uh, yeah, I might have done it already. Might have been that choice between a shop discount or the power recharge. Okie dokie. Um, we maxed out on fuel, we're maxed out on fuel. Very good. As soon as I get 50,000 credits, I'm heading back to the uh, Citadel. I'm getting my collector armor. Alright, so yeah, we got the Krogan DMZ. Extractarian survivors investigate Cerberus presence. Exodus cluster, Gemini Sigma, Hades Gamma. Kite's Nest. Find artic artifacts. Investigate the missing scouts in the Ninma cluster. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's, uh... If I'm going to be heading uh, back to the Citadel pretty soon anyways, I probably want those artifacts. Get the blue suns on our side. Alright, so. Yep. Signal confirmed. Okay. What we got? Karshan, the Batarian homeworld, oh boy, is wrapped less in mystery than in outright lies. Batarian propaganda claims the world has 15 billion inhabitants and an economy that rivals the Asari. Although the legal slave trade does boost the Batarian's profits somewhat, Citadel sanctions have left a paper tiger of an empire, one that fights rivals through deniable terrorist actions rather than the wars of its heyday centuries ago. The Reapers will likely be the death blow to that empire. Almost no information has escaped Karshan since the Reapers destroyed the calm buoys, but Batarian refugees say that resistance has created a bond among the commoners. If a new government can rise from the ashes, that bond may sustain a new Batarian society. What do we get? Ah, uh, Pillars of Strength. Okay. Right, 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 right. Three percent assets recovered. Right. Oh, Lord, they coming. Getting one more cheeky scan. Yep, they know we're here. Invasion successful. Phew. <laughs> And that's why, that's why Space Lord was telling us to get good at maneuvering the, uh, maneuvering the ship. I found something. Oh, fuck. Treban! We went to Treban in the first game, I think. Ten thousand credits, yes, please. Just salvage, okay. Take that. Um, where else? 
else? Where else? Kind of scanned here. What if we, uh, what if we check out this area here? Oh, they coming. Let's go. There was stuff we had to look for in the Shrike Abyssal too. Large, dense planet named for a Volus god of punishment. Its crust is rich in uranium, eroded by winds to create large radioactive dust storms across its surface. The Volus of Talosphia have explored the planet thoroughly with space probes and telepresent robo mining machines, and discovered they are not the first to exploit the planet. Plastics from a mining station, approximately 50,000 years old, can be found near the planet's equator. Okay, so yeah. The mines nearby were not tapped out of uranium ore, they were instead abandoned at the height of their operation. Sounds like some Protheans got wrecked. Hey, more credits. Mm, let's see. It's probably either gonna be... Probably either going to be Tosal Nim or it's going to be this, uh... Nice. Wreckage of a fuel depot destroyed by enemy sources. Fuel can be salvaged from the debris. Sure. Zaycha has the, uh, Zaycha has the... I found something. Ooh, okay. Okay, so moving to a different system does, uh, take down the Reaper alertness. So that's nice. A Systems Alliance official once summarized his tour of the Vorcha homeworld as followed. You can make your own Heshtok in two steps. Take hell, then add Vorcha. <laughs> Planets highly volcanically active, leading to periodic releases of toxic gases into the air and water supplies, as well as other extreme situations that gave rise to the Vorcha's legendary adap adaptability. Overcrowding and the extermination of most of their ecology led to a planet covered in weeds and hardy vermin. The Vorcha do not have a recognized single government that would allow them membership in any, gal in a, in any galactic league. Alliances between bloodlines are tenuous at best, and the Vorcha's short, violent lives ensure there are few lasting institutions. The Reaper invasion of Heshtok encountered little formal military resistance, but the harvesting process is slow. Destroying neighboring cities fails to intimidate Vorcha, who become submissive only if physically dominated in person. Ah, uh -huh, they're into that. Cutting off their water supply simply makes them adapt their bodies to get moisture from food. Allied intelligence hypothesizes that Reaper forces are not harvesting yet, instead seeking to immobilize Heshtok's population and prevent them from joining the fight for the galaxy at large. Capital Hatash disputed. So glad, so glad we're on the Vorcha homeworld. It's where I want to be. Frickin' Methnosferatus. Void Devil's Fighter Wing. Okay, sure. Sure, I guess the Vorcha can help. I guess. Three fifty, very nice. All right, yeah, let's head to Erlaras then. Okay. Halosphia, this is the home world for the Volus. Planet capable of supporting life if that life happens to breathe ammonia. Discovered by Asari explorers, the planet was used as a bargaining chip by Citadel Council, who quickly drafted a colonization agreement with its wealthy client race, the Volus. 
The Council would fund the Volus colonization effort in return for massive trade benefits. With uncharacteristic enthusiasm, an enormous Volus influx ensued, and the Council reaped the economic benefits for a dozen years before the colonization bubble burst. The Reapers found Talos via easy prey. The independent planet had a defense fleet only sufficient to handle small-scale actions. Its high population and industrial base, once a deterrent to war with other Terminus system worlds, has only served to attract a larger number of Reapers than usual. Uh, awesome. Found. Found the Prothean Obelisk. Excellent. So we needed that for a quest back on the Citadel. Alright. Earl or Ast recovered. Alright. Oh boy, I'm gonna be low on fuel. I bet there's shit hiding in the asteroid belt. Signal confirmed. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Are they coming? Uh, I don't like that the Reapers appear to not be... I mean, we'll make the most of this, but I don't like this. It was a tomb because you found Warship. Gotcha. 50% assets recovered. Okay, yeah, so maybe the Reapers haven't gotten here yet? Maybe they're just giving us mercy because they know one of these is, like, murderously difficult to find. 50% assets recovered. Okay. I think I'm hitting both of the asteroid belts here. Um, or is it maybe like, uh, is it maybe in the inner? There it is. Fuel. Awesome. Alright. I think that's everything for the Shrike Abyssal. Let's get the hell out. Yeah. Wonderful. Sigurd's Cradle, we got everything. Crescent Nebula, the Ismar Frontier. Uh, you know what? Let's go, uh... I'm kind of interested in the Rock Nyan, honestly. Working fuel depot, that's rare in Reaper space. Maskim Zul. There is only Zul. Listening post X19, what do we have here? Well, shortly after the Rachni Wars, just in case any Rachni survived the annihilation of Suen, the post orbits the mass relay and is still manned and maintained, although today it largely exists as a customs checkpoint for researchers studying the Rachni homeworld. Among members of the Council militaries, being assigned to the station is seen as a form of punishment or exile, considering that there have been no signs of sapient life on Suen for over a thousand years. Okay. Okay. 
Although Utaku is, hab is habitable, extreme temperatures have, and violent weather have discouraged colonization. Because the planet has little liquid water to retain heat, surface temperatures regularly oscillate between 70 degrees Celsius and negative 60 degrees Celsius. Utaku's vegetation is notable for having evolved flexible central stalks to survive high-speed winds, as well as leathery leaves to shrug off the plant's frequent sandstorms. Sounds like a sounds like a paradise. Animal life is mostly confined to the plant's small oceans. Utaku has few valuable minerals. Yeah, why are we here? Maybe it's uh, maybe it's great rack nice stuff underground. I think we're bringing best boy Garrus no matter what. Um, I also really like Liara. Uh, I feel like she's a good complement to Garrus. So yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm happy with what I've got here. Um, yeah. A peck punisher. I think that's probably the probably the way to go. Since the R doesn't seem to care about weight, we will uh, do that. Yeah, I've got Garrus's sniper rifle modded exactly how I want it. Cool. Nine whole points to spend. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? We'll make Poland Shockwave better. Inflict 27 damage per second to lifted targets, or increase all damage to targets lifted by pole by 25%. This this feels pretty academic, honestly. Um, sure, we'll go for uh, damage them while they're lifted. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck. Undo. I wanted to improve Shockwave. Force and damage or impact radius? Hmm. You know, if I'm throwing out a Shockwave, I usually want to hit a lot of people. So, yeah, we'll go for impact radius. Um, actually, Garrus threw out a nice cheeky little overload last time that really helped us out, so, uh, incapacitate weaker organic enemies for a short duration. Nah, I'll recharge, recharge. We're, we're generally not overloading on, uh, weak enemies anyways, so, recharge. Oh, baby. Expand the Singularity field by 35% for 10 seconds, or detonate Singularity when the field dies to inflict 345 damage across 5 meters. Uh, let's go again for getting as many people wrapped up in it as we can. Pure Biotic. Yeah, Liara's thrown out the powers for sure. Oh, recharge speed of Singularity. Hmm, yeah. I mean, that's the main thing we're using her for, so... Yeah, I think that makes sense. Any updates, Shepard? Our backup is waiting for us at the drop point. Arlac Company, Grogan Commandos. That's correct, Shepard. They are an accomplished unit. Their decisive action in liberating a colony from Batarian pirates made them famous. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. I don't like the sound of this. The Krogan would have come prepared to fight. Mm -hmm. We don't know much, but no Rachni activity has been reported. It doesn't make sense. We let that last Rachni queen live on the condition she disappeared. <laughs> yeah, you she don't think she might have? You don't back. think she might have gone back on that? Be ready for any the murder bug. The murder bug started murdering again. Who would have guessed, Gareth? Who would have guessed? Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving, Team Two. See anything? Let me know. Oh yeah, Shepard! Fuck yes, Shepard! Oh, hello, hello, grumpy son. I could ask you Oh the my same boy, question. you're making me so Didn't proud. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The situation they changed radically. Problems, right. <laughs> That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. 
Nice. They're tough. Think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. So what happened That's with familiar, the Grunt. How did you go from being new and unproven to your own command? <laughs> Wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part nice. of Clan Nice. I was an equal. Nice. And being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this yeah. company. Yeah. Oh, kill them all. I didn't like a tank bred Krogan being in charge. Yeah, he beat your I ass. I a few scars earning my uh -huh. place here. These Krogan respect me. Fuck yeah. You were in the ass, Grunt. But if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Eh, <laughs> glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. The Rachni. Chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. <laughs> we don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're, if lucky, we're lucky, it's, it's a, a nest. nest. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Just like old times, Grant. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck yes. Grab what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Oh. Take what you need and move out. Oh, it's so good. The testosterone. It might be too much for Liara. M three hundred Claymore. Hey, that's the uh, that's the shotgun Grunt was using. Hmm. So, huge amount of weight. Uh, actually, yeah, I think our venom is better. Caliber barrel for the pistol. Some spare parts. Wonderful, wonderful. Not surprised Grunt found his way into the action. Little guy's all grown up. Mm-hmm. Glad he's here. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh. Bird. Ready, Shepard. We're right behind you. You ready to go? Let's go. All right, let's get going. Finally. Right behind you, Shepard. Airlock guy? Uh, okay. Well. Woo. Everyone all right? Shepard! You in one piece? Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way! Explore tunnels. Don't wait for backup. Head down into the Rachni tunnels. What's that? I see it. Webbing. Grunt, I've got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few days. Yeah, if he has his weapon, grab it. You won't need it anymore. M451 Firestorm, okay, that's the flamethrower. Is that webbing? Looks like it. Do Rachni shot web? I think they do. This darkness is going to make it a little harder, Shepard. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Everybody be ready. Movement. Anybody catch that? I saw it. Or pause. Careful. Careful where you step. 
What are those? I don't know. They're dead now. At least Chrome was smart enough to uh to send you in first, right? Yeah. Yeah, you'd think he would be uh, charging in like a dumbass, but no, he realizes Shepard is the biggest dumbass of all. Might as well use him. I I don't think Rock I don't think Rack and I shot Webb. Um I didn't notice Webb's at least. Note the wire, Shepard. Reaper tech. Mm. Maybe. Oh god, are they making Krogan? Got another flame tank here. Another canister of propane and propane accessories. What the fuck is that? It's a fucking Reaper Rachni! Raptor. Oh yeah. I'm on it. All right. Reap, reap, nigh. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, down it goes. Shotgun Shredder mod. Reapers made some modifications. Grunt, Rachni presence confirmed. Modified and very dangerous. Finally, something to kill. <laughs> Nothing here yet. Lost a Krogan to a sinkhole. Bad way to go. We should find the nest in these tunnels then. These Reaper troops are here to keep us out. Another firestorm. Look at this. No question, Reapers. Yeah. Agreed. Let's find out why. All right. Let's go get that other firestorm so we have full ammo. I think it was like down here, right? Yeah. We're blocked, Shepard. Copy that. How are we getting by this? Reaper node. This looks important. Fire, I guess. Sure enough. That did it. Shepherd. Oh, boy. Rocks fall, everyone dies. Everyone okay? You're doing too well, goddammit. Come on. What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Cave in. We're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. That hurts my feelings, Brent. Yeah, yeah. Reaper tech. He knew the next team would need help. 
Uh -huh. sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. Oh, okay. Just goo Shepherd. from the spore pod. What? Oh. Oh. Well, at least someone's looking out for me. <laughs> when you call my name, I turn around to look at you. I am not necessarily looking forward, Liara. You should say something like, 12 o'clock, Shepard. Looks like a last message. He's asked that it be delivered to an Asari named Ereba on the Citadel. All right, we can do that for you. Firestorm, very nice. Another hole. Expect trouble. Action people need short names, yeah. Yeah, here we go. To, need to kill that barrier engine for sure. Oh, that's a cannibal. Oh, good singularity, Liara. Garrus, get your sniper rifle out. Holy shit. Keep the pressure up. Hmm. Stay low. Don't let it get beat. Yeah, cause cause the rack knight needed rocket launchers. That's that's uh, that's that's what they needed, you know. They weren't bad enough. Drop the firestorm back here. There it is. <laughs> Fred, you're six. And Joe, you're twelve. Humbert, Bartholomew, damn, that'll leave a mark. <laughs> yep, it almost did. Uh, that husk almost left quite the mark. Fair ammo, excellent. Ouch. Hmm. Skewered frog, delicious. Alright. Ooh. You must be getting close, Shepard. Some heavy fighting. Oh, okay. That's the hole that came out of. Casualties? It's fine. Krogan fight better angry. Their sacrifice will be the, uh, be the catalyst. Piss off everyone else. Oh. Oh, oh. Go away. Go away. Krogan casualties are not only expected, they're helpful. Gestation pod. Ugh. Yeah.
Firestorm. Swarmers, just make sure you have your upgraded Thorns perk. Exactly. The Rachni thrive on toxic planets. Strange to find them in a breathable atmosphere. The Reapers must have changed them. They definitely look different. Yeah, yeah, you know, there's the whole uh, rocket launchers mounted on their backs. It's the big difference I notice. Yeah, not anymore. And this place is well hidden. I mean, it adds up. I agree. And they're throwing everything they've got at us so we don't reach the nest. Ariaki Technology Shoulder Guard. Cool. I'm not going to use it because we're running our collector armor soon, but, uh, yeah, cool. Nice to have. Here you thought you'd use the Rachni against the Reapers, yeah. So we can have Rachni with rocket launchers, but when will we get sharks with laser beams attached to their friggin' heads? Um, as soon as Dr. Evil becomes indoctrinated, which, you know... I mean, we have the elusive man, he's basically Dr. Evil with a nicer head of hair. See elusive man doing the little pinky thing. Into it too. The From the moment I, I heard Cerberus say I had a son, I knew wounds. that I'd be safe. Any His worthy enemy fun. would regroup and finish us soon. Just don't let the Reapers get hold of the Krogan. Fuck. Taking whatever's down that passage. We'll dig in here. Kill anything that moves. Buy you some time. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. Yeah! Oh, crap. Get ready! Locate central chamber. Mile med kit. Yeah. Heads up. More eggs. Take it slow. Oh boy. Oh, welcome to my nightmare. Yeah. Spelunking is already freaking stupid. Now you're doing it with a horrible Reaper rock nigh. Ready to bite your head off. Nothing good happens in caves. Nothing good happens in caves. What is that? Grunt, we've located the central chamber. Good. We got your back. Looks Shepard. like the queen. Move it. Oh boy. Damn it. We need to find the power node. Find the power node. Well that to the cavemen. Like I said, nothing good happens in caves. They're trying to stop us. This is it, people. And yeah, no no shit.
At least if I die in here, it sounds uh, it sounds pretty heroic, you know? Died in the horrible Rockni cave, as opposed to, you know, like, dying in Nutty Putty cave. Okay. This is probably not smart, but you know what? Kill it with fire. You never go wrong killing it with fire. Shepard, more of them. Stay focused. Got it. Fire cleanses all. Correct. Nicely done. Like the Rachni are backing off. Nice. The Rachni are back nice. Finish the job. Copy that. All right. Hello, Queenie. At least she's uh, at least she's uh, decent enough to use the uh, corpse and not like Liara. What are you? The last queen. We listen for the children. They are silent. Follow. The machines come and take them to war. They die alone. Silent, far away. The Reapers did this to you? Yes. The sour no note of the machines is everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. You are our creepiest you ally. You, you promised not to interfere anymore. The Rachni were supposed to disappear. They were trying. Remember, we kept our promise. Retreated back through the relay. We started a new home. Beautiful children. Harmony. But the machines came. They heard our song. Their shriek of silence drowned us out. Alright, I guess we save you again. They can't hurt you anymore. Yes, we understand. Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free to eat you. If you can return, they will destroy us all. Really fast. 
movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grunt. Uh, Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We hate the machines. We will fight. Yeah, you say that until you get indoctrinated. Really fast. It's funny how different she sounds when it's She's the Krogan's uh, voicing it. time to escape. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Our that company dies. Is that clear? Listen up. Our lack company holds the Rachni off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team. On my way. Shepard, you sure about this? That's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. Let's go. <laughs> Grunt can one shot him. Absolutely. Oh, we're not. You're not gonna let me fight my way out. Fair enough. Uh, Rack Knight Queen, if you wanna, if you wanna come in clutch here, that'd be nice. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard! Grunt, you're coming with us. Fuck that. My turn. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Come on. Rage against the dying of the light. Get him, Grunt. Fuck yeah. Oh, no. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You got him. You got him. Yeah, rip that, rip that rocket launcher off. Beat their ass. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Grunt. Cortez, we're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. Fuck yeah, Grunt's not dying like a bitch. Yeah! Oh yeah, come on. Come on. <laughs> Anybody got something to eat? Uh, you didn't bite enough of their heads off? Hell yeah. I'm reviewing a report on the Rachni situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rachni Queen. We got burned last time. I'm trusting your instincts, Commander. Did we, we get burned? Count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. Definitely. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Shepard, you made it out of there. Sounds like I missed a hell of a fight. Yep. It was bloody, Rex. We could have used you. Too busy talking rather than fighting. Feeling restless. A war going on and I'm stuck Ain't it the, the worst. I heard you made some kind of deal with the Rachni Queen. Again. If they get out of hand again, it's your ass on the line. Understood. I heard Grunt managed to get out of there with a few scratches. You could say that. We'll get him patched up, back in the fight. Good to hear. I should get back to it. Keep me posted, Shepard.
Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure is ready? No. Still need transmission vector. Cure useless unless given to entire species. Uh huh. Well, what? It, yeah. What did you do to? What did you do to infect them all? You infected them with a disease easy enough. Is the cure that different? No. Keeping modality similar when possible. Easiest way to develop cure rapidly. Groundwater? No, too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait, yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Uh -huh. Also used by Turian. Grunt plus we Rex equals it's not a good day to be a bad guy. Virus. Hell yeah. It ended the Krogan Rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. Yeah, that was pretty devious. Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. Those were desperate times. Yeah. Yes, yes. But no one's in the wrong. Not. Original Genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. Mm -hmm. Can use it as transmission vector. Then you Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little pie jack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morton. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Excellent. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Priority to Chanka. Alright. So we're getting there. We're getting there. What do we have? We have Rachni workers. Not at all mindless insects, the Rachni are capable of feats of engineering comparable with any sentient species. While well, initially greeted with suspicion, the Rachni workers dispatched to the Crucible have integrated into the project smoothly. Terrifying. They work especially well on tasks that benefit from group work, and senior Crucible staff members are learning to trust the Rachni with more complex problems. Uh, here are the Vorcha we picked up. The Void Devil are a recent military creation consisting of Vorcha fighter pilots trained by human and Turian mentors. Though uniformly young by other species' standards, the Devils have laser-like focus on the task of taking out enemy ships. Courageous in the extreme, they are also notably disciplined for Vorcha. During the invasion of their homeworld, the Devils fought hard but ultimately obeyed the order to retreat while the wing was still intact, leaving them alive but burning for revenge. It's got a Vorcha labor team. These socialized folk... <laughs> The, the goggles are pretty swag, and I must admit. Socialized Vorcha were a maintenance and calibration crew on a small scientific outpost orbiting Tyrix. Such skilled labor is rare among Vorcha, but not unheard of, since Vorcha trained by other species for precision tasks develop finely tuned nerves and senses. Additionally, this crew can heal cellular damage caused by radiation exposure, which is useful since the crucible is being built where no planet's magnetosphere protects it and extravehicular activity on its hull is often required. Nice. Who else we got? Do we got Grunt? Hell yeah. The perfect Krogan was thrown into the world without a past, a name, or a cause. After destroying the Collectors with Commander Shepard, Grunt returned to Tuchanka to learn what it meant to be a Krogan. After countless arguments and brawls, the clans have granted Grunt a modicum of acceptance. Tough, wary, and cunning, the young Krogan knows this experience will pay off now that it's time to fight the Reaper's forces. Excellent. Alright, well... I guess we're headed to Chuchanka. We've got a we got a lot to do. I'm curious though. I can afford collector armor, so I think I'm gonna head to the uh, Citadel right away. Oh, actually, link to Anderson. Hey man, how you doing? So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers, and we can all come up for air. Yeah, just about. Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. Oh, Kaylee Sanders says hi. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. Mm, right, she yeah, she was there. When Saren oh, betrayed him. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding Aww. you what you forgot to do. <laughs> Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. Excellent. We'll see her soon. Another reason to fight. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. Part of the job. That's what you hired me to do. 
Mostly you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. We haven't really killed very Nothing many Reapers. I can't handle. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole, just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? Doesn't sound great. They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. Yep. Haven't forgotten yet, doing our best, so on and so forth. Thoughts and prayers. Even if it kills me. Well, you've already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. Nice. Okay, so I'm thinking. You hear we had to evac another colony? We're losing a lot. Don't hear about the Reapers losing much. Well, Reapers don't have colonies. Neither does Cerberus. If they did, we could drop an asteroid on them. <laughs> Commander, Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Oh. Yeah, we needed to go to Benning anyways. Nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist Trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our War Room data is a direct result of her work. Very nice. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you'll be okay. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. Damn. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Fair enough. Alright, so... Omega from Bray. Things are settling down on Omega. Looks like the Talons are the new security force on the station. Their leader said something about honoring Kandros's memory. I'd say they were being cute, except they're not shy about packing up the sentiment with firepower. Be careful out there. No, there's at least one Batarian here that doesn't want you dead. Bray. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, you were, uh... You were, uh... Arya's second-in-command. Right. Okay, well, the situation in Benning sounds pretty dire. I'm not sure where we go to from here. Well, first thing, first thing, I am going to pick up my collector armor and I'm going to turn in a couple of the things we got. sure why I have that listening post uh, marked. Alright. So yeah. I think we'll head to the Citadel. Cure the Genophage, extract her and survivors, investigate Cerberus presence. Uh-huh. If I can 
should go back to Kite's Nest and find some artifacts, actually. Yeah, trouble is remembering where I scanned. Yep, there they are. There we go, there's one. Three hundred units of fuel, sure. Um Vular, find artifacts, okay. So I think this is the way to get the blue suns on our side, so let's do this. They come. Reapers eluded. Reapers eluded. Uh, let's go to Endress then. <laughs> there they are. There they are. Signal confirmed. <laughs> Told you. Yep. Governor Grothen Paznus. Okay. Discovered by Batarian astronomers during last century and first visited in the 2150s by Hegemony survey teams. Okay, so we picked up a Batarian governor. Likely the Reapers eliminated them or the colonists submer submerged into the scorching atmosphere in an attempt to hide. Yikes. Caver Station. Back to Harsa. So I'm almost out of fuel. I'm running out of fuel in Reaper space seems like uh, death, probably. Alright. So we'll probably come back to Kite's Nest later. Um, I'm trying to remember, was it Hades Gamma that had the... Uh, had the fuel depot right off the uh, mass, re mass Effect Relay that still works. No. But, since we're here... Time to leave! Faster than light jump successful. <laughs> okay, a Reaper alertness still really high here. Makes sense. Not gonna do, not gonna go to Tuchanka just yet. Just gonna refill on fuel. These things sound like Martian tripods. Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? All right. Um. Yeah. Since we uh, had no, well, I know how to find the artifacts. It's just actually, you know what? Probably tempting fate here, but uh. 
I know where the artifacts are. There shouldn't be any need to scan anymore, so... As long as I don't bumble into a Reaper, I should be fine. And we're zooming and we're zooming. Or not. Evasion successful. Okay, they're they're still hanging out there. Okay, we come back later. We come back later. There's uh, no way around that one. Alright, to the Citadel. Uh, I didn't realize they uh, they they continued to hang out in the uh, in the system you triggered them in. All right, yeah, we do have some stuff to to turn in. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Um, yeah. I need to get to the refugee camp. Yes, Commander. I think there was one I needed to turn in there. Like the Batarians. Yeah, Preacher. Cargo. Yeah, Cargo Hold right there. Alright, behold the Pillars of Strength. I recovered your Pillars of Strength from the Kite's Nest. They're yours, waiting in Bay D24. Thank you. Right now, my people need any reminder of their faith they can. Sure thing, buddy. So let's see, who else we got? Uh, General Raka, Kanika, which I don't think we can do anything with them yet. Arya's there. And Citadel Embassies. Yeah, the Embassy offices with the Diplomat, I think, was the... Uh, Whatever thing we picked up. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. <laughs> now <arriving> at... <laughs> that being said, hashtag not all Batarians. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I guess. I guess we had to uh, we had to make the Batarians a little likable. I'm I'm not too broken up about their entire empire getting destroyed by the Reapers first, though. Doesn't bother me that much. Oh, he was just on the ground floor. Gotcha. But a fair amount. Yeah, yeah. Not all Batarians, but a fair amount. Indeed. See, I think it was a Volus. Yeah, it was you. I think I recovered the obelisk you mentioned from the Shrike Abyssal. It's waiting 20, in Beijing. 20,000 credits. Really? Thank you, Earth Clan. Were your people involved in a secret construction project of some sort? I am certain mm. this obelisk would help. Perhaps uh, we might be someday. Uh, good, uh, good to know the obelisk will be helpful. Alright, how much cash do I have? So, I have a choice to make. I could either pick up the Black Widow or I could pick up the Collector Armor. I think I'm gonna pick up the Collector Armor. Garrus is, uh, Garrus is nasty enough with the, uh, with the uh, sniper rifle he's got. So we'll probably come back and get the Black Widow later. Destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. After all, it's not like I'm the reason you're breaking up with him, right? <laughs> you're s still talking about your relationship, huh? Collector armor was down here, I believe. Hi, Edie. 
Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Here we go. Or not. All licensed hunt hunting may apply for a professional discount. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Where the hell's the collector armor? With our special wartime discount. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. I was almost certain it was here. All proceeds from today's purchases go toward the Turian War effort. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Cipertine? No. Thank you for shopping at Cipertine. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Remember, all purchases made by Agor Munitions will show in your credit report. Nos Astra Sporting, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Did I already buy it? Welcome to Nos Astra Sporting Goods. Have I had the collector armor this whole damn time? Shoot smart, shoot Nos Astra. Our selections include rare technology upgrades from Thank the you for shopping at Nos Astra Sporting Goods. Before we have to worry about that. Oh, Araba. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium. If these Aww. words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty. Aww. together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But though you needed room to grow, Still, I will remember the perfume of the scent and the soft touch of your petals. No. If my heart could not shelter you from the storm, then let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you can grow safe and happy. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. No. Who knew? The, who knew the Krogan could uh could do something like that? Um. All right. Well, I think I'm just a gigantic dumbass and uh, have had the collector armor this whole whole stream. Just forgot to equip it. Uh, Canic. I don't think we have anything for you yet, right? Credits don't talk with me, Commander. C sec wants my top of the line. You gotta come through with a couple of artifacts. Yeah, we almost we almost died, thank you very much. We almost got reaped. Alright, um Who knew the Krogan could even write, yeah? Well he didn't write, he uh he recorded a voice message. Okay, the Black Widow was... Not here. Hey, I remember you. Shepherd. Oh, yeah, you're the... You're the cool-ass Krogan, I'm sorry. You were working on Ilium. How'd you end up here? Nah. With the Reapers making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. So I moved here. I don't think so. I've seen some video footage of you looking at Liara. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay. Was her mother. Doesn't know it, but I was her father. Uh, you should talk. Liara would love to meet you. Why? She doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Venezia ran off before the kid was born. Besides, this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady yeah. connections. Like 
A human commander that used to work for Cerberus. Sound familiar? I only worked with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. And you're not with him now, I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year of Liara. Is that a threat? I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight. Nobody. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you combine her work with Venezia, and well, the matriarchs might have ordered a hit. I hadn't agreed to keep an eye on her. Fair enough. I bet she'd like to meet you. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to remember where the uh, where the Black Widow is. Is it the uh, is it the is it just the Spectre supplies? I get the feeling that it's like in one of these shops, but it might just be the Spectre supplies. Let's see, oh, we've got this one up here too. Welcome to Elcos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Executioner pistol. Cerberus armor, Any opened goods capacity, weapon damage, shields, and health. That's pretty good, too. Elkos Combine. If it exists, we carry it. Thank you. Come again. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Guitar, Reckoner Knight. Uh-huh. Exports is pleased to offer goods we for security and visit. peace of mind. Yeah, I'm thinking. I think the Black Widow's in the uh, in the Spectre goods. Welcome, Let's head back to the Citadel more. embassies. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Apparently, this is like the no, top of the line best sniper know. rifle you can get for Garrus. Just uh, make some one shot most things. Positions. There it is, and you need 125k. Rip. Big rip. Chakram launcher. She uses an internal fabricator to manufacture lightweight ammunition discs wrapped in holographic tracers. Discs explode on impact, sending shrapnel tearing through the enemy. Markings stamped on the gun's barrel are a shipping code created by its manufacturer, Amalur Equipment. Code warns that the rifle must be assembled carefully as it contains mixtures extremely volatile under pressure. Nice. <laughs> Xena. Thank you, Space Lord. Yeah. Okay, well, this was kind of a bust then. I can't afford... Apparently I already have the collector armor and I cannot afford the Black Widow yet. So. Woohoo. Alright, let's head to Tuchanka. Let's at least get stuck in there before the stream ends tonight. Or, you know, we could go to Benning. We might go to Benning instead. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. Might go deal with Benning. Go to we'll go to Krogan DMZ and refuel again. Check the armor before anything else. Yeah, good call. 
Oh, all fueled up. All right, yeah, sure. Let's check the armor. There it is, the collector armor. Health boost, shield boost, and shield regeneration. Sure enough. Okay, Arcturus Stream, I'm pretty sure that's where Benning is. Gemini Sigma. Not one Sigma, two Sigmas. Yeah, Euler. Oh, Arcturus Station, okay, yep. Yep, Arcturus Station, destroyed by Reaper Capital Ships. The station once housed the Systems Alliance Parliament and the nerve center of their military armada. Now it is a cold grave for 45,000 people. I found something. Big rip. Yeah, of course there's something at Arcturus Station. Intel from Battle of Arcturus. Okay. Might be useful. Gonna bet it's here. No. Nope. Reapers are capital ships, yeah. Good point, good point. Okay, yeah, this must be Benning, yeah. Alright. Signal confirmed. Do a cheeky scan here. 100 units of fuel, wonderful. That's all we got. Yes, I just flew through the sun. Benning, the nearest garden world to Arcturus Station, is the primary source of its food supply and an important staging area for starship maintenance and repair. Occupying the planet would be key in any attempt to retake the system's relay. Scattered intelligence indicates that during the battles of Arcturus and Earth, the Reapers sent a small force to Benning to destroy its comm buoys, spaceports, and starships. With the population immobilized and communications cut, the main force concentrated on the larger prize, knowing they could return before repairs could be made or help could arrive. Heat sources in Benning's space indicate a non-Reaper presence here. Let's go. And there was that uh, diplomat, I think, who uh, had lost his son on Benning or something, so we'll uh, probably inquire after him. Bring Best Boy Garrus. Why don't we, why don't we, why don't we bring an Edie for this one as well? Yep, happy with that setup. With that set up on Garrus, Edie, why don't we go with the uh, yeah, Blood Pack Punisher? We'll give you a Scorpion too. Shackled AI. Increase, increase squad mate tech power damage and duration by 10%, or decrease shield charge relay. Um, we don't use a whole lot of other tech damage. I guess Garrus, maybe his overload counts, but... Uh, you also have overload. Hmm. I'll make your incinerate stronger. Damage by initial 40% over 8 seconds. Hmm... Probably better she just spams it out. Damage to frozen and chilled targets by an initial 100%, or damage to armored targets by 50%. Yeah. Garrus, what you got? Two? Okay. Shepard, server strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigations suggest that the people are being taken against the Of course, it's Cerberus. Unknown. We 
sent a recon team to investigate and the Cerberus squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, Cerberus is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. Mm -hmm. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Incinerate them so before they grow stronger to install and yet. To the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down Flamethrowers are, are useful, command. useful. Pack it out. Hmm. What delightful pods. So one thing I want to change. Actually, it might not be something I can do in uh, in here. I want to make it so it doesn't show my helmet. Okay, well, so much for the civilians. Really, Cerberus? We're doing this, huh? Good shit. Good shit. Nicely done. with me? Oh, well, Garrus is with me at least. You're good. You're good. best place to be. Go. Where else? Where else? Who else we got? Don't worry. You will not be the ones dying here today. Edie in all of this. Oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, Edie, why don't you, uh, why don't you switch to, uh, something with a little more range?
Uh, I'll be quieter now. Fried chicken fingers. Ooh. Sounds amazing. Yeah, you know, there's a normal response. Watching Shepard ripping Cerberus uh, shitheads' heads off, you know. Come on, come on, get him. <laughs> uh, Garrus with the close range sniper rifle execution. Gotta love it. Pop your head out. They really are everywhere. It's, uh... Rather annoying. Who else wants to die today? Who else wants to die? Plenty more ass kickings where that came from. I have a robot that literally sets you on fire. Who wants to die in the worst way possible? I know there's more of you. I feel like I missed something, though. Like, shouldn't we have figured out what happened to uh, that diplomat's son? He was on Benning. We're getting reports of continuing strikes against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual MO. Seriously. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying a foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. Fair enough. Hmm. Chunk up. Terrain platoon. Benning evidence. Yeah. Dominic Kosoba is looking for evidence of his son lost during a mission on Benning. Find evidence of what happened to his son. Return to the ambassador. Okay. Mmm. Yeah, fried chicken fingers sound delicious. I might have to make a, a late night, uh, might have to make a late night fast food run after the stream's over. So am I just locked out of Benning now? Huh. Might have effed that one up.
Apparently a tag you could have found during the mission. Mmm, fried chicken, fingers greasy, except pinkies. <laughs> Kite's nest settled down, I wonder. This should be what Kanik wants. Black market artifacts, yep. the reapers here. Ooh, we were running low, we were running low. Alright. Hmm. Didn't Vanna look like it had more artifacts? Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, Eni? All right, we'll uh, we'll head back sometime later. Cerberus attack. Downed vessel. Uh, let's let's deal with the Turian survivors first. Mm -hmm. I think we know what we're about there. Yeah, I think I want to get pole maxed out. Make yeah, we can make Garrus's concussive shot better. Force and damage, sure. This crash site's a nightmare. Looks like Rex was right about Reaper Scouts. Edie, any further intel? The mission brief identifies the Turian commander as Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Oh, well, that would be why. Victus. Yep, it's Primarch. the Primarch's son. Uh huh. <laughs> Try to raise him. For a Turian commander, what happened here is, let's just say the Turian commander. Uh huh. Okay, so he'd be court-martialed for this it's shit. Bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. Uh -huh. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. <laughs> okay, get his son out of a pickle here. I see how it is. Lieutenant Victus. Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash. 
Flares trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Okie dokie. Got it. Things get worse by the minute. My men are dying. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I feel. <sighs> A secret Turian mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? Nothing has come up through any of my networks. Wow. They were really secretive about it. F to rapidly escape. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was shooting at my own people a little bit. Just a little bit there. Shooting at my own people while the uh, husk nommed on my brains. Pretty standard day for escape Commander Shepard. Our first casualties. Ooh. Looks like they survived the crash. But then a harvester took them out. The M9 Tempest. Uh, Liara might have interest in that. Let's see. More fire rate, more dan uh, more accuracy, less damage. Eh, nah. Don't think we're interested in that. Died in the explosion. And then pulled out to be eaten by husks. Yuck. Shepard, I hear gunfire. Okay. I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Do what you do exactly. best, Garrus. Let's go. That's a harvester. Shoot it in the ass. Come on. Don't you run away from me. Yeah. There's another pod ahead. Save them all. Oh, I see. Excellent work. ASAP. Being the son of Adrian Victus is a lot to live up to. It's a big military name on Palavan. Wars expected to run in the Victus blood. Mm -hmm. Children shouldn't be burdened with the successes of their parents any more than their failings. Oh, Liara, if only knew you knew your father was stalking you. Saved all those men. This way. And we're moving. Kind of feel bad I didn't get to kill that other oh, harvester. Way. Probably gonna bite me in the ass at the end. Do you read, Commander? Repeat. Do you read? Oh, Shepard, here. what's your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. Barnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. 
Victus is going to pay for this. Court martial or hanging? Oh, damn. How's Victus going to live this down? When we find Smart it, trip. we'll ask. Uh huh. We're gonna. done with you who gave you permission to leave that's right okay let's pick it up it's important we don't lose this squad it seems that the Turians are playing with political dynamite here maybe they should inform the Krogan Krogan Turian animosity is ancient and intense. It's inborn. And I need them to work together, so let's not complicate things. Yeah, get him out. Hey, we can see him. Mm. Rifle extended barrel too, very nice. Alright, let's move! Not one more soldier dies here today! Oh, found the Krogan. Okay. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch. Whew. Well, that was a little closer than I would have liked. Rather pinned down here. There we go. Area secure. Woo! That was close. That was close. Over here. Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Seriously. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose what did you caution do? And clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. Yeah, what did you do? You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. Mm -hmm. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Man, Suddenly, there's gonna be no hiding this. There's a freaking Turian cruiser on Tachanka. Yeah, bad calls Only happen. Mistake takes guts, but you have to get over it and move on. Of course, it's just fresh right now. Mm -hmm. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? 
We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus oh, for has. fuck's sake. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it. Mm -hmm. And so did you. My men Damn lost straight. Hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. So be a leader. It's your job to make exactly. Them How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men, I own what happened here today. But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turian. And we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Damn straight. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Nice. Commander, come with us. We're yep, everywhere. someone's got to save your Who's ass. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Oh, you will. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelfic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. Oh boy. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Yes. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Yep. Primarch Victor. You better start talking, buddy. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our Bullshit. lives, we Our friendship is new, Commander. Smack his beak. Smack his beak. But your people puts Earth at risk. I have to trust you, dude. Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Fucking Wait, loser. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. Mm-hmm. Two chunk of bomb. All right. Let's deal with the Tuchanka bomb. <laughs> Locate bomb. Cerberus attack. Investigate Cerberus presence. Alright, yeah. Let's. Bomb is probably the most pressing uh, issue. Um... Like Garrus. For dealing with Cerberus, yeah, we probably want Liara to deal with the ones in cover. So Garrus, I think we got a better... All oh, right, we weren't using the... Uh... Although, I kind of wonder. Extended barrel, just straight up damage. That's a little less damage, but it pierces uh, armor. Yeah. 
Probably stick with that. Normandy shuttle. This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. You motherfuckers. Turian. It was planted centuries ago. After the Krogan rebellions. I see. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. I see. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. Yeah, I mean, I get it, but... You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my and the Krogan. Oh, boy. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Uh, another combat insertion. Let's go. Telling me to get behind something? Cerberus should get behind something. Me to get behind moving. something. Once we reach the bomb, I'll need to reprogram the trigger mechanism. All right. Copy that. No trigger, no explosion. Yeah, we're moving. Shotgun blade attachment. Stick with the sniper rifle, Garrus. That's what you do well. Dumpster. Oh my god. We defeat the Krogan and then plant a bomb on their planet. Pretty extreme, but those were desperate times. Yeah, you keep saying that. To lose everything in a flash. It's monstrous. Hell yeah. Good work, Lieutenant. Fair enough. Copy that. Contain Shepard. They know you can't stop Shepard. Just trying to contain him. I don't like the sound of that. Cerberus is leaving. Move, move, move. I can't believe it remained undetected for so long. 
Yeah, that's a big ass bomb. Been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. I hope Victus knows what he's doing. We won't get a second chance. We yeah. gotta move, Shepard. Yeah, move where? Oh, I see. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. Concentration module. The bomb should be clear. I don't think so. I'm guessing nah, they're leaving anything. something behind. Yeah. Like, yeah, those are the Turians. All right. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. All right. Hopefully, you're a tech specialist. A That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. We got your back. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. No second guessing him. And he can do this. He must do this. Sure, I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Oof. Look out, Commander. Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Nobody gets past us. Clear? Clear. Let's go. Here they come. You came to die. That's depressing. They're not letting up. Watch for more shuttles. Deployed. Okay. Overload, please. Thank you. Ouch. Not a scratch on Victus. Let's go. Spirits! Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It's set to detonate. Disarm it! No time! I have to separate the trigger from the bomb. Now. Like physically separate it? Cover me! I guess physically separate it. You got this. You got this. Come on, no, 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 no. Oh, God. Uh, 
Victory at any cost. <laughs> well, so much for saving your son, Primark. Commander, I've got radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like God damn. Out the remaining server's troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. You get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. Yeah, at least you missed the court martial. The Very true. This, Very true. Hard to say. Sacrifice and more is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. Mm. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just right, expected. Right. He did what he had to do when it counted. Mm. Yes. Yes, he did. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. Mm -hmm. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yeah, let's yes, go sir. ahead and cure the genophage here before things get Back out of hand. It was probably a hint we that, uh, risk another yeah. Galactic war with the Krogan. Probably should have done the genophage first. The genophage first. wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! Need to move on. We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primark, you had a bomb on Tachunka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. Damn. Okay. We do. <sighs> Takes a lot I to get Rex to back down like before, that. Before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. Yeah, you paid a hell of a price. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn, Commander. Oh. My son, he died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. Mm. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Jeez. Yes, sir. Damn, man. I'm not, I'm not crying, you're crying. Oh yeah, Grothan Paznus. Governor of the Batarian colony Kamala was outspoken in the early hours of the Re Reaper assault, blaming the Alliance for the destruction of Batarian Kambuis that were in fact destroyed by the Reapers. Now liberated from his world, the governor has undergone a dramatic conversion. His daily extranet videos rally his formerly conservative xenophobic subjects to embrace the Citadel species as brothers and sisters in arms. Unlike many Batarian politicians, he also avoids micromanaging military affairs, content with inspirational tasks and the logistical nightmare of providing urgently needed relief to Batarian refugees. Okay. Arctris First Division. Volunteer army of civilians, paramilitary forces, reserve soldiers who've banded together to stop the Reaper occupation of the planet Benning. To avoid detection by Reaper forces, its members operate in cells, never staying in one place long. A handful of Alliance officers are coordinating the First Division, sharing intel and sending supplies to, his, to the resistance soldiers. A few Alliance squadrons have been spared to support Benning's makeshift army with trained soldiers. Nice. Some, uh, the Turian Blackwatch. 
team of exceptionally skilled special ops soldiers Blackwatch has sent on missions that threaten the safety of Palavin itself. It was pulled from the homeworld by order of Primarch Adrian Victus, who wanted to mobilize this elite force in less hopeless situations across the galaxy. The majority of Blackwatch's operations are classified, although it's generally accepted that they have the highest success rate of any Turian unit in history. There are rumors that Saren Artarius was part of Blackwatch before becoming a Spectre, although, given his youth when he joined the Turian army, it seems highly unlikely. Fair enough. after even prime at six damn wow commander there's a new message at your private terminal mm -hmm. thank you jessica from my name is jessica from you saved my life on benning i've lost so many friends in all this but i hope in the uh, i find hope in the idea that their memory lives on in me i'm just one woman but i wanted to let you know you're making a real difference bless you commander jessica from nice all right well, shall we uh, cure the genophage? All hands, full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud facility. No way you're going to be able to land a Ooh. shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, sir. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. Yikes. They want to fight. They just got one. Primark, we're going to need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. This is for Palavin. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. All right, we're gonna kill an actual reaper. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud facility. Finish synthesizing cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. Everyone up for this? We've never faced a reaper up close like this. Everyone on. Well, board. I mean, we we have. It didn't tower? go well. Let's move, Pijack. It's time to cure the genophage. Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Hmm. What do you Soldiers. want? Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solis has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? Wonder how many mating requests Shepard will get out of this. Uh, <laughs> well, I wonder if I uh, wonder if that works for the Krogan. Uh, I mean, it could work. You don't you don't know or not Rex, lady. We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Dalatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you were planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morton would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. <sighs> if I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. That's rough. That's rough. I'd rather have the Krogan behind me 100%, I think. <laughs> uh, that's hard to beat. Uh, let's bring... Oh, we haven't taken James out for a while. Let's bring James. Uh, 
All right. Yeah, Shepard's good. James, you have... Yeah, let's have you do the Claymore. Put out the cure, claim you sabotaged it, and no one will notice. Yeah. Yeah, until all of the uh, Krogan are still stillborn. All right. Choice here seems pretty obvious to me, yeah. Same. Increase accuracy, you know, that might not be a terrible thing. Read it again. Claim you sabotaged it. No one will notice. Uh -huh. Read it again. Claim you sabotaged it. Mm hmm. I, I I don't get it, Yeni. Claim you sabotaged it. Quick recharge speed on pole or two projectiles. I kind of like two projectiles. Double pole. Arms master. Squad mate health and shields by 20% is nothing to sneeze at. You know what? We'll make you a little bit of support, James. That's pretty cool. Let's make your incendiary ammo better. Yeah, I like it. Dalatrus said to sabotage it and that no one would notice it wasn't working. Put out the cure, the claim you sabotaged it, no one will notice. It's oh. We'll okay, so trick Dalatrus, I get it. The this will be the defining moment of Krogan history. I see. That's that's pretty slippery. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. Yeah. I got a message from them. Rex, it's Reap. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with Ah, I get it. Yeah, I get it now too. That's pretty clever. Yeah, we could trick the Solarians. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're. They're not going to know for a little while until the first uh, Krogans are born. Shepard, keep them away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clan. Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move. Reminds me of the mess on Palavin. Ugh. We're not done yet. More on the way. <laughs> oh, what a whiff. What a whiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Alright. You're using your assault rifle. You're using your sniper. Good. Everybody's doing what I want them to do. There we go. They'll sing battle songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. 
We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. Saving your people, His name dumbass. Is Solus. He's here to cure the Genophage. His kind gave us the Genophage. Why should we trust him? Yeah! That's why. <laughs> Rex with the most elegant of arguments. Welcome to the matriarchy. The Krogan diplomacy. Yeah. Or you can fight the enemy you were born to destroy and win a new future for our children. I choose to fight. Who will join me? I'm in. I will. And so will I. Now hold your heads high like true Krogan. There's a reaper that needs killing. <laughs> Surprise, surprise, the females are the uh, smarter half of the species. Copy that, Artemek. We're on our way, trying to make up lost time. Shepard out. Reed isn't the only Krogan who wants revenge for the Genophage, Rex. You'll have to placate them somehow. I'll demand the Council return some of our old territory. We'll need room to expand. Recapture the glory of the Ancients. Glory of Ancients led to Krogan rebellions, countless deaths. Creation of Genophage. Expansion plan... problematic. What were the ancient Krogan like? Tachanka wasn't always a wasteland. In the old times, right. the Krogan were up Then you nuked to... yourselves into oblivion before dreams, first contact. A future to look forward to. Until Solarian interference. No. We destroyed Tachanka ourselves. Technology changed us. It made life too mm -hmm. easy. So we looked for new challenges and found them in each other. Nuclear, Nuclear war, war was inevitable. <laughs> now our planet is rubble. We'll need a better place to live. Yeah, I think I'd say they've earned it. I'd say helping defeat the Reapers would be worth a new planet. Or ten. Or ten. <laughs> Rex. Yeah, this might be a problem. With the Genophage cured, we'll have a lot of catching up to do. Commander, on the shuttle, was there something you were going to say? Yes. The Dalatraz tried to cut a secret deal with me. What kind of deal? She said they sabotaged the Shroud years ago. The cure won't work unless we fix it. Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. And she thought we wouldn't know better? Correctly. Would likely have fooled tests. But familiar with STG work, can adjust. Did not come this far for nothing. Mm -hmm. You just spared our race another genocide, Commander. I told you we could count on him. Why are we stopping? Rex, you and Morton stay with Eve. He's looking ugly out here. Will do. Dangerous topic like this. Get moving. Pistol magazine. How are we supposed to fight a war with other I would, I would like some ammo, please. What's the holdup? Roads out. The convoy can't make it through. Hmm. Turian wing Artemek, this is Shepard. We've been delayed. Hold off your attack. Negative commander, our approach is locked. The Reaper battle rolls are here. 
That's not good. An airstrike alone won't do it. We have to get in that fight. Damn it. That's really not I'm good. Sure we have to build a new road. We're going. Did do a sick jump. Oh boy. Rex, get the female out of here now. Go. Artemek, do you copy? We have to abort, Commander. That reaper's tearing us to pieces. Understood. Save your pilot. Oh boy. We'll find another Death way. Death mass. Shepard, a tunnel over there. Maybe a way off. Get to it. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, I don't know about a uh, ground assault on the Reaper with just us. Escape the catacombs. Felt like a tremor. The Turians had to call off the airstrike. We'll need a new plan for dealing with the Reaper. First, we'll have to find you. Where did you end up? Underground. We see ruins of some kind. Commander, that's the city of the ancients. How do we get out? No maps exist. It's been abandoned for thousands Wonderful. of years. Wonderful. You're a trailblazer, Shepard. Get through there, and we'll find a place to meet up. Nothing will stop this cure. <laughs> okay, looks... Looks like a dead end. Alright, let's do a little maze. Is, that didn't feel like a tremor to me. Rex, are you guys feeling these tremors? Not up here. It could be something else, Oh, Commander. fuck. It is said that Kalros, the, the mother of all Thresher Maws. <laughs> no. Which is another reason to get your ass out of there, Shepard. Step on it. So, do I really want to know who Kalros, the mother of all Thresher Maws No, I don't is? think we want to meet her. When the Krogan name a Thresher Maw, you know you're in trouble. They don't think anyone's ever going to kill it. Ancient Krogan artifact. Nice. Ravagers. Fuck, really? Rachni again. There are bound to be more than just the ones we killed. Rex, we've got Rachni here. Keep an eye out. I know. A few of them just attacked us. All that matters is And you true. didn't uh you didn't yes. consider it appropriate to tell us that they're Arachni? Thanks, Rex. Looks like light ahead. And now this is new. Part of Chachanka that isn't rubble. Makes you wonder what the Krogan could have been if they hadn't nuked the place. Mm hmm. Rex, we made it back outside. Well, if you can see sunlight, that's progress. Yep, hopefully, no Kalros. Green. I didn't think plants grew here anymore. This is interesting. All that's left of it on Tachanka. This is once a world full of beauty. Given a chance, it can be again. Shepard, that Reaper is still up to no good at the Shroud. Find a way out of there and we'll pick you up. We're on it. Love to know how we're going to deal with the Reaper when we get there. That is a very good question from you, Meathead. This in them. Maybe Eve has a point. You're ahead. We've got movement. Back there we go. The and if she's wrong, I sharp on our perimeter. Hell yeah, I'm not getting ambushed here. It's a Ravager. Down you go. <laughs> Another quick. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, shit indeed. It's 
not over yet. Is it ever over? I wonder. Watcher, we got one of the big one. And he brought friends. And he brought friends. All right. Um. Yeah, hit him with a grenade. Well, maybe we'll get lucky in the Reaper and Thresher model fight. Ooh, that would be cool. What's happening? Some crazy idea we can talk about later. Just worry about getting out of there right now. I'm down for that. I'm down to see a Reaper fight a Thresher Maw. Absolutely. <laughs> Is it ever over? Just ask Master Chief, right? Oh, well, uh, James is having some fun over there, I, I see. Got him, James! I mean, there was the thumper at the Ascension trial or whatever that called a Thresher Ma. True. Yeah, they do probably respond to big fucking things moving around on the surface, so. You might be right, Yeenie. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, this waterfall doesn't lead anywhere. Holy shit! She's not gonna get us. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Move, move, move. Holy Come shit. Ahead, Shepard. We'll try to shake this thing and find you. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. That is a big now, thresher ma. Now I'm kind of glad we're not in the truck. Right. And the thing is, I bet Rex is enjoying it. What a oh, waste you know it. I see Rex's point about needing a new home. Heads up! They're back! I'm on it! They're back! <laughs> if you walk without rhythm, it won't attract the pressure, Ma. If only that were true. We've seen how Shepard dances. We know he has no rhythm. Alarmed you to entertain. <laughs> oh, Morton. Stay close. Drive faster. I can smell the damn thing's breath. Shepard, we've almost lost Cal Ross. Get down from there and we'll find you. Okay. How might one do that, I wonder? Yeah, here we go. Shepard, get over here! Breathe! Keep an eye out for that mall! I don't want it sneaking up on us. Make it quick, Rex! We're exposed! Move it! Ooh. <laughs> Shepard! We're in! Go! 
What about Reed? No way he survived that. And he was a pain in the ass anyway. <laughs> now let's finish this. There's a Reaper waiting for us. Damn, man. Who would win? A gigantic Reaper or uh, one Rexy boy? I hope somebody has a plan B. I know we've beaten the odds before. But getting to that tower, I don't know. We're curing the genophage no matter what it takes. Everything my people will ever be depends on it. Then I hope this idea you were talking about is a good one. It was her. This part is so good. Actually. Cow yeah. Yep. We summon her. Uh huh. Look at, <laughs> look at look at Yeedy. Just need to distract Reaper. Draw it from power while cure synthesized, released. Uh-huh. Yeeny is like our own personal Eve in the chat here. Uh Kalros. What makes you so sure she'll come? You know how to summon her. She is the mother from which all other Thresher Maws spawn. This is as much her home as ours. If Tuchanka has a temper, Kalros is it. Nobody's ever faced her and survived. <laughs> You know what? We've done crazier we things. We the Omega-4 relay and survived. We can do this. That's the spirit, Shepard. How would we summon her? The tower was built in an arena devoted to Kalros's glory. The Salarians thought she would scare away intruders. Appears to have worked. Mm-hmm. There are two Maw Hammers there, the largest in existence. If you can activate them, Kalros will come. That should distract the Reaper. Meanwhile, laboratory nearby. We'll finish synthesizing cure. Be safe. Let's make sure we all get out of here alive. We're gonna have one hell of a story to tell. Yeah. That's nah, putting it lightly. I want you to know that no matter what happens, you've been a champion to the Krogan people, a friend of Clan Erdnot, and a brother to me. To every Krogan born after this day, the name Shepard will mean hero. Now, Let's May your walk. cheekbones one day be as mighty as mine. Go! I've got this! I have heard that Rex! And this is mine! Yeah, I mean, Grunt killed like ten of them. Rex can easily do a hundred. Stay alive, Shepard. We'll have cure ready. Let's get in there! Okay. One has to raise the Maw Hammers. Okay. M5 Phalanx. That looks like an SMG. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a pistol. Oh, okay. Scorpion, Predator, Phalanx. Which is crappier in every way. How about that? They're real, they're real, thro really throwing the, uh, really throwing the upgrades at you, you know? Getting you ready for a big boss Holy fight. Holy shit! Off to the left! What? Well, yeah. Is it looking at us? Yep, it's looking at us. Good advice. You've got to be kidding. Just keep moving. Take the cover. I'm not sure cover's going to work. <laughs> Are really doing this? Yeah, we're really doing this. Wrong way. Oh, wrong way. Hey! 
Thank you. Now that's some goddamn balls. Go! Let's push ahead! On our left! One of the hammers! Second one's on the right! I think we're out of range of the laser at least. Oh my. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. You would be so dead on legendary. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. I've had that thought uh, numerous times in this playthrough that I would be so dead on Legendary. Garrus, for fuck's sake, use the sniper rifle. Like overload him or something? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. I think we got the hammers up here. <laughs> okay. There's one. Oh my god, come on! Working on it, dude! Working on it! There's a Reaper in my way, Rex! Pressure mob maybe is something other than a pain in the ass for once. <laughs> All right. This is just Mozilla versus Mecha Kaiju, pretty much. I'm here for it. Get it. Uh, alas, it's not so easy. Yeah, those Thresher Moths sure are a pain in the ass, huh? Oh, damn! Holy shit, well... Not even a Reaper stood a chance. Wow. So badass, seriously. We get a fucking kaiju fight at the end of it. in two minutes. Procedure traumatic for Eve, but not lethal. Malin's research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunate. We'll stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Krogan. Let's go. Damn! 
Control room at top of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. Ensure cure dispersed properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's gotta be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variance. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion likely to be problematic. Morden, you fucking badass. Morden, no! Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. No. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. What a badass. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. <laughs> Behold the power of a uh, behold the power of intense autism, everyone. It saves the galaxy. Holy shit, what a badass. Look at him go. <laughs> Lord and Chad! You got it, bud. You got it. I'm <laughs> a sorry and veterian. I am the very model of a scientist solarian. Nice. Okay. This isn't going to make Shepard grow another pair of balls, is it? Man, the quad on him. No shit. Oh, we get the Mass Effect 1 music. There it is. Yeah. So we'll just tell the Delatras that we, uh, that we, uh, you know, that we sabotaged it. They won't know the difference until the first uh, Krogans are born. A long time ago, my father betrayed me in this place. His own son. He tried to kill me. So, so I had got to the kill scars. Him. Right over there. <laughs> That's what the genophage reduced us to. Animals. You change that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. Yeah, he was a damn good friend. He wouldn't have had exactly. You know it's real when they break up the Emmy One sure music. He is. Mm -hmm. He's putting in a good word for us. Yeah, well, he's chilling on the beach. Chilling on the beach. Uh, Maybe a girl. <laughs> we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Fuck yeah. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread <laughs> the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them Mass and make sure this wide orgy. is squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara... Erd not Bakara. Nice. Baraka wins. Yeah, non-stop orgy for a while, lol. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully they can uh, pull themselves away long enough to help the Turians and, uh, and Earth. Or rather, pull out, I suppose, would be the, uh, the terminology. Me, Curing the genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Yep. Commander, 
Erdnot Rax has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. Appreciate it. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Nice. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Hey, you were there. You were. You were there with us. It can't be easy. Uh. I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> we both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You yes, you really are the eye. best boy. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. <laughs> Anything happens, you let me know. Again. Oh, we have control. Okay. There's that kid. Fuck! Oh, it's all the people we got killed. Assuming control. Yeah. Come here, small child. I have candy for you. Don't run away. God damn it. That's Ashley. But not really. Uh huh. Go. Oh, there he is. Dumbass save Kay. I, I, I don't regret my choice to save Kate. Come here. Come here. No. Oh. Nice magic trick, kid. The, the candy is really tasty. I got all your favorites. You can eat as much as you want. Jared Shepard, yeah. Yeah, we never we never did learn his uh, his true first name. Uh, Jared Jared is seeming likely right now. Subway powers him to uh, save the galaxy and uh, commit unspeakable acts. Bringing a foot long of pain to the Reapers. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? <laughs> yeah, you know, just, just, just stuck in my own head. Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? Yeah, I miss Ashley. Ashley, back on Vermeer. She gave her life stopping Sofran. I wonder what she'd make of fighting a whole fleet of Reapers. If I had to guess, Ashley would call it target practice. Yeah. Sounds like her. Mm-hmm. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Uh -huh. Let me guess. She called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. 
I mean... The Slurians should still support us, Commander. you know? Can I help you, Counselor? Shepard, I want you to understand that I owe my position to you, and it's not something that I take lightly. Were it not for you, that weak-minded Counselor Valorn would still be alive, leading the Salarians down the sewage pipe. Mm -hmm. But now I'm forced to champion a cure for the Genophage. It's like saying we need a hurricane to put out a wildfire. Counselor, Krogan are about to die in droves so your people don't have to. That's your message. Human statesmanship at its finest. <laughs> Speaking of, I need to talk to you about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. Oh, Udina's a piece of we shit. Surprise. Going. From what I can tell, you won't like the news. Come it's going to Cerberus. On the Citadel. Is she out? It's going to Cerberus, isn't it? Son of a bitch. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Bitcom. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... Mm. This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. Mm -hmm. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that mom and Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support as it is. We picked up some Turian troops. Nice. Good to hear. Uh, how about the Solarians? How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams. Yeah, the, the ones who, They're the ones who know what's pass. up. They're helping us. Even after I cured the Genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military mm -hmm. and the politicians. They're These hardcore and they know the score. score. They're not going to jeopardize the entire Solarian Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. Mm-hmm. What the Rachni? What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. <laughs> That's crazy. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. Who'd have thunk it? In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. Yeah. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. And I assume Arya's being, well, decent is maybe not the word? What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorjai here. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. How are the Reapers going? Do you know going? how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Erdnot Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. Mm -hmm. The Salarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Mm -hmm. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. <laughs> or they're... If we lose this war, uh, they might be there yeah. the next cycle. Exactly, they're not it's uplifted enough to, to care about. Destroy every I know how to stop the Reapers. Just the ones who can threaten them. 20 yottabytes of tally feet picks. <laughs> what the... Batarians? <laughs> Just poured in the SDF one. There you go. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Any word on the Volus and Alcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Irun. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. Nice, nice. As for Alcor, they're still in the fight. The war projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. Yeah, any sign of the Quarians? Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? The, the fleet kind of went off somewhere. Brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Huh. 
So I guess you can just talk to Hackett whenever now. Alright, so, what I think I'm gonna do... Actually, there is still more to uh, do on Tuchanka, huh? Uh, it was pretty sketchy. Commander Krogan, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Novaria. Fighter Novaria. base on Novaria. Oh, okay. Your regrettable decision. Yeah, yeah. Commander, I'm deeply disappointed by your actions on Tuchanka. As I thought I made clear, curing the Genophage will have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat has passed, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. I mean, the Krogan are going to be on the front lines. They will be depleted too. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the Genophage, and the Solarian Union will be among their first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. I'm ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day not only for my people, but for all of galactic civilization. Dalatras, Linron, Solarian Union. Sorry, I'm giggling because I saw what the next one is called. <laughs> Make it, babies! From her dot Rex, Shepard, making babies again will be fun. Soon as this war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve is in the Kelpic Valley, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad. I run the show. We're off to save the Saurians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Rex. <laughs> Impressive work from General Corinthus. Oh, nice, yeah. When you first arrived on Mene, I had a hard time seeing how, seeing how you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I'm impressed. You brokered an alliance that many thought impossible. Palavin might be saved after all. With great respect, General Corinthus, Mene Command. Still fighting, from Shiala. Don't know if you've seen the articles, but the people of Shu's Hope are fighting again! This time it's the Reapers instead of the Geth. Not sure if you remember me, but you helped me back on Ilium. The Thorian is dead now, I can confirm that. But the spores in our bodies remain, and on some level we are still connected. Interesting. This is not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, you can, like, hive mind. As we fight back the Reapers, we feel each other and act with one mind, ignoring pain when the need arises. I'm sure I'm still indoctrinated. I remember Sovereign's voice in my mind when I went willingly to the Thorian as its thrall. But my connection to the people of Shu's Hope is stronger. It drowns out the Reaper voices. The situation is imperfect and dangerous. Perhaps the colonists should separate for their own safety, but with one mind, the untrained fight with the skill of veteran commandos, our force is strong. I've not forgotten how you helped us, how you spared me. We're leaving Pharaoh soon, and when the time comes, we will fight with you, Shiala. Yeah, she was the, uh, she was kind of the meat puppet that the Thorian was using, the Asari. Resistance is futile. And an alert, new article on Reaper. Pharos. A group of colonists on Pharos have mounted a defensive against arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia of Shu's Hope, said to be survivors of a savage Geth attack several years ago, has repelled initial Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime competence more common to seasoned platoons. The colonies are using improvised weapons as well as supplies salvaged from a debunked Exogeny facility. This colony is our home, colony spokesperson Lisbeth Bainham said. We've survived worse, and we know how to fight together. The colony is expected to have time for full evacuation before more Reaper forces arrive. Damn, they just... they destroyed the advance, uh, advance guard. Wonderful. Yeah, Juice Hope colonists. Wonderful. Alright, we could investigate the uh, Cerberus uh, attack. I think we'll come back to that. Because what I'd like to do... I think I'd like to head back to the Citadel one more time. I'm gonna buy the Black Widow, I'm going to get the, uh, the Blue Suns on our side, and yeah, we'll meet with the Solarian Counselor, and that'll probably be it for tonight. Figure out what the hell Udina's is up to. Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1 4 Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? Uh oh. 
One more time? Nah, you'll be back there plenty. What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Cerberus do some shit. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus Mother are fucker. everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Well, are so much safe? for just doing a few things oh, on the Citadel. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Caden make it out? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. Mm-hmm. All right. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. That can never be easy, can it? Best boy, um... Liara is always a good one to bring along if we're dealing with Cerberus. Mm, yeah, I think I'm happy with what Liara has. Do that. Make the shockwave a little nastier. Uh, make your proximity mine better. Damage or radius? Probably damage. And Liara, yeah, let's make your warp better. Increase weapon damage taken by a target by 15%. Increase power damage taken by a target by 15% for 13 seconds. Or you just increase the damage of the warp itself. That's a lot. Damage and duration, that's a lot. We fucking go. Okay, yeah, we're a uh, C sex a little outgunned here. Did she just throw a fucking car? Oh, Bailey, shit. Okay, people, coming in hot. Get to cover. On it. Gotta wonder what surface is playing at, alienating the entire rest of the galaxy, right? I mean, it's gotta be, it's gotta be Reaper indoctrination at this point, right? Bailey, Shepherd. okay, you're not totally dead I yet. I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in CSEC's flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. <laughs> I 
Here we go. CSAT network access. Courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Fair enough. So you're just gonna Hello. be coordinating the whole damn effort here, I guess. Got? A warning from Counselor Ashiel. She's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. This move may provoke retaliation. Well, that's an understatement. If she's inside, she's in trouble. <laughs> Why me Why now? Would the counselor be meeting with the executor. Usually, it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus mm -hmm. friends. The counselor mentioned. I think we know. But that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The counselor. One Let's counselor watch your rescue. Where am I headed? The counselor could be in the executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go. Oh, he added me online. That's nice. Fade, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult. I'll try to get to you. Get bomb. attack in progress all hands on deck no shit That's a fair thing. There we go. Probably should have taken him first shot. M76 Revenant. What's an assault rifle? Alright. Very heavy, a lot of capacity, a lot of fire rate, not a lot of damage, not a lot of accuracy. Eh, I don't know if that's terribly useful. Cerberus. Didn't even drag him out into the hall. <laughs> Fifteen dead CSEC officers in the shower at headquarters. Not a good day. I bet he was like 
But he was two weeks from Which retirement. Game? Lamont, you alive? Could you perhaps oh, man. not alert everyone? If gunfire doesn't put them on notice, I sure won't. Yeah, Garrus knows these guys. So long as you don't find a big double-headed sex toy, yeah, like in uh, San Andreas. <laughs> Armando Owen Bailey. Warn Herc that if he doesn't fill out his reports properly, I'm kicking his ass from one end of the Citadel to the other. Reschedule meetings with customs analysts about cargo weight discrepancies over the last year. Don't let him wriggle out of that again, damn it. Reports of undesirables getting on station illegally. Have biometric systems calibrated again. Kick Herc's sorry ass from one end of the Citadel to the other. Uh -huh. He did not fill out his reports properly. Come on. Oh, Alright. Guess you can't go through the window. Securitel helmet. Man, I could make a real clown suit, couldn't I? Might have to do that. Make Shepard's outfit as glorious as his cheekbones? Alright, that's not gonna work. Hey! We're getting gunfire. Him we'd never gotten in, so there's a traitor in CSEC. Who could it be now? We've got to be close now. Yeah, there's a stairwell further on. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. Yeah, c -Sex a little busy. c -Sex just a little busy. Job purrs. That's what he needs. Job purrs. The writing pants? I think that would be if he was riding his ass from one, uh, one side of the Citadel to the other. Elevator. Right, stairs. Up is where we need to go. So let's see what uh, let's see what we've got down here. Nope. Yep, those silly-looking poofy riding pants. Unless Herc has, like, an actual donkey that he's going to ride from one side of the uh, Citadel to the other. That might be cool. Yeah, Jodhpur is very important for that. I, I see what you're getting at. Bailey, looks like they got the Executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Shit. Damn. Uh, that's Solarian's I just moved. piece of shit. I've heard about you. I've heard about you. I've heard about you. Don't even think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all. That remains to be seen. That remains to be seen. I mean Udina. He's staging a coup. The other counselors are headed for a trap. Shit, it is Udina. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's I fun. lang. Oh my god. Come on. Get him. Get his ass, thing. His timing is impeccable. Funky cold Udina. Got shit on Thane.
this is diminished Thane. He's still kicking your ass. Or not. Son of a bitch. Really? Really? You're going to do Thane like that? Oh, fuck no. Fuck no. Get out there. Oh, you die now. You die. You die painfully. Fucking Thane? Really? Are you fucking serious? Okay, well, he's not totally dead yet, at least. Oh, are you serious? No, come the fuck on. I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. Thane better not, better not die to that bullshit. He better not die to that bullshit. Swerve. Swerve. Just knock him off. Just knock him off. Knock him off the fucking hood. Or you don't got this. You almost think this is written by Joss Whedon. <laughs> yeah, sure feels like it. Shepard, my instruments see your car stopped. Yeah, no shit. I'm on foot now. Any luck contacting the council? Yeah, Negative. get to safety. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. Where are they going? Get wrecked. Alright, yeah. Come on. Out of the way. Eh, eh. Yeah, dodge that. Dodge that. Better get wrecked. Damn straight. Hmm. Do I still have my barrier up? I do. That's kind of amazing. All right. Well, let's reapply it. Him, please. Thank you. Someone with a sword? Uh huh. Yeah, great. Great indeed. there's an elevator up there. Just gonna double check, make sure there's nothing around here. 
Nobody uh, dropped anything that we can uh, reappropriate for the war effort? Guess not. Council okay, elevator. I'm in the shaft. Hang on. This will be a fast climb. Oh. Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every. <laughs> nice. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conduit beneath it. Uh, these don't have great safety features on the elevators. Watch here. Shepard? I see them. Jump. That was a person. Go get down. Okay, Caden. 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 Come on, Caden. Go. Oh boy. Cerberus took out the shuttle. Everyone back to the elevator. Move! Shepard, what's going on? Shepard's blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Oh yeah, that's rich coming from you, buddy. Hang on. I got this. Everyone calm down. Had it been the assassin, it would have been the right choice. True. You're making a mistake. I can explain this, Caden. Come on, Shepard. Gun drawn on a counselor? Kinda looks bad. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odina's behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. What Shepard says is possible. Unlikely, but possible. Hey, finally we're learning to listen to Shepard. I'm overriding the lock. I better not regret this. You won't. Udina, step away from the console. To hell with this. Embrace eternity. Yeah, he's mine. Get the council back and cover that door. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. <laughs> <laughs> then it's true. We were in danger. But I don't understand. You said Cerberus was right here. Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Nice. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Then I owe you, Shepard, for our lives and for brokering a deal with the Primarch and the Krogan that I never could. <laughs> About fucking time. Nah, just you don't doing my job. Anything, counselor. 
times like this, we all stand together. Shepard, do you have any idea why Cerberus would do this? Honestly, no. But I plan to find out. Reapers. It's Reapers. It's always Reapers. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. But you're glad you listened to me, aren't you, Caden? You should listen to me more often. All right. You sack of shit. Yes. Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel, and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Just throw his stupid space station right into that star. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. Yeah, he'll come out soon enough. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Gotta realize Pardon the extent of Elusa's megalomania. Sure yeah. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. Oh, good. Okay. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Oh, boy. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. Koliat made We're it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus. If you want to see him, uh, I'd go now. I'll Thank get on it. it. Oh. And you can tell him the Salarian Counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know, make things easier for him? Sure. Alright, let's go see Thane real quick and then that'll be it for tonight. Ooh. Let's go buy the uh, Black Widow, then go see Thane. Purchase. Wonderful. Cerberus turret control schematics. Granted the necessary funding, Alliance operatives familiar with Cerberus tech can obtain control schematics for the turrets. Aha. Uh -huh. Sure. Keep an eye out for uh, fragments of a uh, sovereign's code. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. All right. Let's go see Thane. Now arriving at Webcom. Ooh, yeah, of course. We don't have enough volunteers. If we could get the rings of the Thessalian Nebula, we could declare a cultural crisis. Hmm. See, you get the rings of a loon. Alright, where is he? Where's our boy? Can I help you? I'm looking for a drill named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drill but not under that name. I see. He was injured, stab wound. He's a regular patient here. 
It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Kepril's syndrome. Uh. At its worst, Kepril's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. Oh, and he lost a lot. Boy. Now, they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. Uh, what do you mean, was? Is he still alive or not? Mr. Creo slips in and out of consciousness, and the outlook isn't good. It's hard to tell how much time he has. When he's awake, he's pretty lucid, never forgets anything. I think that helps. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. Son of a bitch. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, <laughs> he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Father is a hero in every sense of the word. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, <clears throat> I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. Son of a You've bitch. done more than enough, me. <sighs> that assassin should be embarrassed. <laughs> the terminal, <laughs> Hell yeah! Stop him from reaching his target. Uh -huh. I'll pass the word along. <laughs> you know what a true assassin should be like. There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Alahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalahira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koliad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Yeah, definitely. Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires. The lover never leaves. The hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Thane. You won't be alone long. who lives or dies. That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. Mm -hmm. nice and then we're story. getting right into this. When we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat. Yeah, it's called triage. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the administration center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. Yeah, it's called Everyone triage. Sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will, but I'll do it without betraying my oath. 
or my patients. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Mm -hmm. Triage can be very ugly. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it can. Very ugly, but very necessary. Yeah, the the human doctor has the right of it. You gotta you gotta make those decisions, or you'll lose everyone in a crisis like this. All right. So I think I'll head down to the Presidium Commons and uh, handle the uh, handle the writ or handle the. Uh, well, let's see. Are people people here? Yeah, yeah. Mechanic's still here. Not just a matter of who's sickest, yeah. It's a matter of who can we save. Yeesh. Spectre terminal updated, okay. App updated. Ugh. All right, Canik. You're back, huh? Right here. I've got some pieces for you. Done deal, Commander. Check in with General Oraka. You'll see I'm making CSEC very happy. And who's not worth the resources? Yep. Yep. Pretty fucking ugly. Commander Shepard, I was just contacted by a black market dealer who's donating high-end weapons to see mm -hmm. He wanted you to know. Sounds like you came through. And the Blue Suns can go about their business. Now we'll be focusing on Citadel defense. It won't bring Palavin back, but it's something. Thank you, Commander. Maybe if you were focusing on Citadel defense earlier, this wouldn't have happened. Karza. Not an idiot. Damn it, the Alliance needs that thing right now. The obelisk of Karza was supposed to contain Prothean language translation. Mm -hmm. Like the Rosetta Stone for Protheans. Think of how much it could have helped us understand. Interesting. Alright. So with that done, I think we're going to leave it here on this uh, scene of uh, chaos and tragedy. Frickin' Cerberus. Unreal. Alright, so that's going to do it for me tonight. I will be back again tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what I'm playing yet, um, but I will be back again. That's the plan, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, so I'll get that announced as soon as I know. Uh, also, should be getting chatter from the screens, yeah. Yeah, we can get a little closer to the screens, listen while I'm talking. There we go. Alright. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, good. Okay, so we are we are not concealing that Udina was a piece of shit. Good. Alright. See out on a classic. Alright. So. Um, so yeah, that's gonna do it for me tonight. Thank y'all so much for coming out. Uh, yeah, it was a long one. Uh, but I was having a lot of fun. And, you know, we gotta save the Citadel. So, um, yep, I'll be back again tomorrow. Also going to be showing up on Yeenie's channel, playing some Baldur's Gate 3. That's gonna be at, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern. So, I uh, hope you can join me for that. Support of the Turians proves. <laughs> the movie with the Elcor and Tentacle Alien. Okay, let's see. Where is the movie? So did you tell the refugee camp who wore it with the name? What happened? Hmm. Oh, it's not going to be a good thing. Bomb or turret? How many this time? Clear the area until you've done a service and cut a record on the Citadel and fail. Do all my security bits. Hmm. 
Alright, well, we'll look for it next time. Anyways. That's going to do it for me. Thank you all so much for coming out. I'll be back again tomorrow. So, until next time. Amiki, I bid you walete. Please take very, very good care of yourselves. I'll see you all again real soon. Um, and yeah, have a great, great start to your weekend. Later, dudes.